Hello. Hi, YouTube. Hi, you boob. Tori here. Um, hi. Welcome. Today we're going to be doing the Pentacone 2.1 Treblaze quest. Uh, it is six hours, I've heard. Disgusting. Um, awful. No, I'm kidding. I'm excited. I really, I really enjoyed the 2.01. So, I've been waiting for this a little bit. I'm not the most serious Star Wars player, so... I really just like the story and pretty characters, which is why I just got Acheron. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to see what's going on. Ah, oh, friend. My expression wasn't much better than yours when I first saw this. We're not friends. I don't like you. Your eyes aren't deceiving you. It's her. The famous singer, Robin. Oh my god, I forgot she died. Holy. That's so sad. Well, first of all, can I just say that this had nothing to do with me? Is the mic volume still? I'm just an unlucky bystander here. The family can testify for me. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone in the Bloodhound family. They hate me and they hate the IPC. So they'd never lie. This is not where the crime happened. What I showed you was a memory. The most basic light cone manifesting tech. Authorized by the Garden of Recollection and owned by the IPC. Did you really think the Galaxy Rangers were outsiders this whole time? I think a little bit, yeah. Panacone has made a solemn commitment to protect the safety of anyone inside a family dream. Any person in distress Hi, will be forcibly awakened and safely returned to reality. What gives them the confidence to make such conclusive statements? Because behind this promise is the harmony. The family's Dreamweavers link up their minds together to construct an unbreakable defensive line. It's the space vagina. Breaking through this line of defense to create death in the dreamscape. Sorry. <laughs> it's too loud? Not oh! Not even a memo keeper could do that without the family's permission. How's this? Who could have done it, friend? I love it a the little only bit. one is her. The girl who calls herself a galaxy ranger. An imposter. An unsought guest. An good. emanator okay, who hides her true identity. Don't talk about my wife like that. You're being rude. My first I'll fight. was a foregone conclusion. And Robin? Her misfortune was staring right at her. Who will be the next to die? Hopefully you. I mean, hopefully me in Roblox, of course. It's fine. Listen to your gut. Building trust always takes time, and I'm willing to wait. I just hope you realize that wherever that legacy is concerned, Covert plans are already underway throughout Pen. Aspen, I was thinking the same thing. Like, I was about Everyone to ask if he sounds as limp-wristed as he does in English than he does in the other language. Be careful you don't get stuck on the wrong like side. Like any of the other dubs. If I were you, I'd keep my distance from Akron. After all, any schemes out in the open are always going to be better than a monster in the shadows. Right? Homoverse is crazy, actually. I'm calling the cops. Who's to say there isn't an even deeper conspiracy? Hey, Queen. Hey, girl boss. Hey, girl queen. Memo keeper, I think our little deal is finished. Yeah, but... Aventurine is telling the truth. This memory is a real one. And there's no sign of any distortion grafting on. The IPC is not the garden. And there are real limits to what they can actually do. The funny thing is with the venturing, like I, it's not even like. Friend, let's not be. I don't think he's here. evil necessarily. He is, just annoys me. I want to reach out personally like, to team up. I bet we have the Express. same end goal in mind, or at least something similar. I, you, I just, just he annoys me. Scrambling for the legacy. I tried I just came to Pentagoni for work. I'm here to retrieve some lost property for the IPC. If you catch my drift. I'm talking ownership of this frontier prison. This has all become a bad debt thanks to the cancer of all worlds. 
The IPC has tried sitting down for negotiations time and again, but the family wouldn't even take our calls. You have no idea how difficult these people are to deal with. Put it this way, they've hushed up the existence of death before, so they can definitely cover up any news about Robin's death. It'll just quietly float off like a bubble. I think Sunday's gonna be crazy. Because when Ethan Nobody was streaming, he had that wiser. crazy smirk on his face. That's but not okay, only that, right? but like when he was so, talking to Sparkle, like he seemed nuts. I need your help. I mean, I guess his sister did just get murdered, so like that does seem pretty crazy. But like, I feel like Sunday's gonna actually end up being like the evil one or the crazy one or something, but I don't care because he's hot. Um. I have but only one goal. You know. The family's front door is like but a But I do enjoy wall. Sunday. And to tear the whole thing down, I'll have to dig out a few chunks first. Well, it depends. If he's just like annoying and evil, Once then I probably won't like him actually, point, but the IPC will have plenty. He's of easy on the eyes at least. <laughs> now we have our chance. So long as we can get to the truth behind her death, we can have justice for Robin. <laughs> While also gaining a valuable bargaining chip for bringing the family to the table. Truly a once in a blue moon opportunity. I've been investigating and making lots of friends. So Robin's all like really Panko dead then, precisely huh? Precisely for this very moment. This tragic news would be extremely bad for the family. I was like low key thinking so like the two of them, Robin and Firefly, would be like not really dead or something. Especially to the IPC. <sighs> I'm just but confused, I you know? There are still a few factions that remain exceptions. And that's why I need you all. The reputation of the Astral Express precedes you. And the Harmony will give you the fairest of appraisals. Hmm. You get to find out really what happened and seek justice. And I get to put it toward completing my mission for the IPC. It's what you call a win-win situation. See, like, I knew we would align. I just, he just annoys me. Yeah, like, I gotta ask, like, Himiko and well, Welt if like I have permission. Over with your like, if they say, like, I gotta ask mom and dad. Like, if they say no, then I'm out. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to get smart. grounded. She must understand the value of this deal. Look, here's my contact details. I am not you texting you. Any conclusions, if he slides into my DMs, I'm eating my phone. Oh, and take this. A thorough investigation can always use a little more funding. Don't mention it. So long, friend. I really am looking forward to uncovering the truth about death with everyone. Aventurine just sauntered off. Really of course he sauntered off, because he can't just walk. God. <laughs> what now? What are your plans? Black Swan. What is she thinking? <laughs> On the surface, this doesn't look like a bad deal for you. But Aventurine is a shrewd merchant whose scheme won't just be as simple as it appears to be. He doesn't know about Miss Firefly yet. But, judging by your Do reaction, he may have noticed something cute? going on. And deliberately shifted topics to the truth of death. To try and pull you in line with his way of thinking. That's quick thinking <laughs> and very sound logic. Aventurine is no fool, and working with him definitely has its dangers. I mean, ugh. for Firefly's sake, actually, you're right. That we gotta do this for the, my home girl. Something I agree on. My home anyway, girl. Be careful out I have there. to avenge her. There's more than one way to blaze a trail. Okay. In a dark forest beset by wolves, ensuring your own escape to safety should be your primary concern. As for the other questions... Hmm. Sorry, I can't answer that question. That ranger is shrouded in mystery. I was about to say, we saw what happened when she tried to no pick her brain. Capable of providing an answer. So... <laughs> But without a doubt, she's the most special guest at this That's banquet. my girl! It's like Aventurine said just then. It's best to keep your distance from her. Okay, maybe you don't know best. Because I don't think Akron... I mean, if Akron... I don't know. 
she seems to like us, so I don't think she's I'm gonna sure hurt us. Like, also, what could we have possibly done to her unless she's really that crazy? But I like trust her. I don't know. Looked like its winged blade. We've all witnessed it in action before. Plus, it seems unlikely that there would be two lethal entities loose in the dreamscape. So she might not be dead, or two victims appearing one, of them one might be. after the other in a very short time span. In and of itself, that's very unusual. Two possibilities. The collapse of Panacone's dreamscape has started speeding up, making death extremely agitated and weakening the family's protections. Or everything has been planned out and executed by someone. I almost wonder if the if family planned it. Like, I know it sounds crazy, but like Sunday first a smuggler seemed a so calm celebrity. about Robin. Then this murderer's motives are worth Maybe it's just because he's crazy. Over. All right. It's all happened so quickly. I can only make a conjecture. We'll After leaving here, guess. go have a chat with your companion. I am so excited. Maybe I do finish it today. I hope you can clarify the source of this confusion. Mm. Oh, lots of, um... Bodies. This way. This we'll is where it out. we part ways. All of this is like a nightmare. Oh yay! Fun. Unfortunately, the remembrance doesn't lie. What we just saw is the reality that happened, and it won't fade from our minds just because we wake up. But follow your heart and don't be afraid. We all walk through this world casting shadows of different lengths, and ultimately, all we leave behind are precious memories. Ah, hold on just a sec. It's me, um. Oh! <laughs> I'm blushing? There you go. A small parting gift. If one day you unfortunately fall into the deep waters of the memory zone, and there's no memo keeper to join you, Hopefully it can guide you on my behalf. Thanks, Queen. I also pay great attention to the ways of the world. Just think of this as an apology from me for hiding something from you. <sighs> I mean, she then did like hide it, but it wasn't our best interest, technically. To take care of regarding that galaxy so ranger. Guess, Let's you know. leave things there, shall we? Oh. What fascinating memories will you bring for me next time we meet? I sincerely look forward to them. Hey, girl. Oh, they just found out about Firefly? Foggy! Family rep. Is Himiko okay? Hey y'all! We're, so we're my friends. Just happen. I should take a moment to gather my thoughts. Look at the kids with their phone. <laughs> Cute. Huh? Are we just hanging around? Oh! Whoa! 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 <gasps> Mother! Do you? Still dream hunter of those slain by your hand. <sighs> She's so cool. Oh my God, I forgot she killed this guy. Remember when they dropped him and then like before we even met him, he died. That was crazy. You're still alive, as are you. You still have room to make a choice. Leave the music box behind, and then go. Choice. The bloody trail of the destruction leaves no room for hesitation. The Taurus Fire Demon. Even if you sacrifice your life for that eon. That's what I'm saying. Like, get shit on. That's embarrassing. Ranger. 
You tread the narrow path of the hunt. You could never understand. We come from the fire and are born bathed in fire. We spread, burn, and destroy until all the kindling has burned out and we leave only ashes on the ground. Burning forms the entire life of a fire demon. From the beginning to the end. We are born to die just to put into practice a profile of another universal truth. All things are created for the destruction. Your companions don't seem to think so. They fight for your chance at survival. They are my children, and just as I was, they are flames that have yet to burn my heart. They're still young, and I don't believe them. But my flames are feet, and time is running out. Can you see? A planet of festivities in the distance. I plan to bring purgatory with me there, and before that, I must surpass you. I have terrible news for this guy. Uh <laughs> Why? Because on the path they have forged, you have traveled farther than I have. Emanator. Heavy breathing, damn. You cannot hide your true identity. Draw that sword, for we shall indeed remain here, bound to fight a decisive battle to the death, for I choose this. Destruction is intense. To cravenly cling to life is to endure an endlessly prolonged existence. Even if the answer turns out to be your own destruction? What is important is not the answer, but that it exists just as you exist. Everything exists to be destroyed. Emanators are no different. Just as even sweet dreams may be born of the void, the so-called impossible is merely something that has yet to happen. <sighs> All right. I accept. You shall witness the most brilliant and in Intense fire in existence. It's ominous. Flame Just a little. The reaches of your bottomless dream. A bottomless dream. Yes, that's right. But you've made one bottomless. small mistake. Did she forget about Black Swan? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Not out of pity or scorn. <laughs> Sorry. It's a personal oh, secret that. that I don't want to disclose, but perhaps out of reciprocity. Duke Inferno? He, he's literally a antlers. He's a mat. He doesn't have a head. I'll reveal the truth to you. The hunt is not the path I truly follow. Spoilers. May death eh. be the end of your boundless dream. Guiding you back to the waking world. Wowza. I still see them in my dreams. Hold it. Your time hasn't come yet. Oh! She spared my him. Time. I've seen many clever disguises that can conceal appearances, but they can never cover up who a person really is. 
Then you're no different. You had no desire to kill the Trailblazer. You only did what you did to drive me and the Memo Keeper away, but... Why? I mean, I'd be scared of her personally. I'd want to keep her as far away from me as possible. If, like, we weren't friends like that, I'd want her out of my sight. Did Destiny's slave make you do it? Because, like, she's scary. You know, Elio. Hey, hey, hey. I you, thought this I, is I've just heard of the him. kind of thing that'd get written into your script. My script has always been brief. Other than that, anything beyond that is unnecessary. He knows my nature. There is but a single destiny from which no one can escape. And until then, I hold the privilege of choice. However, you appear to be ignorant of this. So it's time for me to inquire. She doesn't know, Who right? Like she doesn't have full control of her memories. Like she's not fully aware. Not your enemy, perhaps. Perhaps is crazy. That's not what I asked. Yeah, I'd be scared, I'm not gonna lie. I don't deserve your curiosity. Loners wandering the cosmos always have their secrets. Take me. I'm wanted by the IPC, so it's little wonder that I know something about the Stellaron Hunters. That's all. Maybe I can help. Um. What reason would you have for doing that? That's what I want to know, actually, I too. I tend to forget things. Which is why, rather than memories, I'm accustomed to using my emotions to capture what I normally wouldn't otherwise. So... I know who is inside that cold armor. <gasps> How about it? I'm listening! Take off. I am playing Cookie Run, but I am listening! It's not yet time. It's just not much to watch. I don't need help, but I can give you a suggestion that will make things better for you and me. I'm, li I'm listening! Is the watchmaker's legacy. I'm just an then iPad kid, yo. Into the family. Not only are they covering up the existence of death, but they're burying the past and the truth about what happens inside the dreamscape. Already on it. And the Astral Express is no enemy of yours. Oh, we're safe. Okay, guys. I know that. I just never expected to hear you say it. What's next, then? The Trailblazer has been taken by Black Swan. Will you go look for her? No need for that. No harm in mentioning that Elio's only given me one instruction. Get all of the Astral Express to track down the Grand Legacy. I tried settling this in an easier and more direct way. But as you can see, here I am confronting you. Wait, question. He is, if he's with Elio, then he's also with like a uh, cough gun then, correct? Script. I just wanna, right? The so-called impossible is merely something that has yet- The happened. gang, if you will. That's it. Before we split, can I ask you one more thing? Is there anything else in your script about me? I'd like to know what kind of footnote I get to leave in that. I feel like Elio doesn't tell them everything though, normally. Unfortunately, oh. not a right. thing came up. <laughs> I knew it. I sh uh, he is a Sauron hunter. Hang on. Oh. Something came up? Question mark? I don't. You don't what? Don't. What? What? I'm scared. Your first question was, do you still have dreams about everyone who died because of you? Oh, he doesn't? I don't. Never have. Psycho. <laughs> I was born without the ability oh. to dream. I live 
for this cold, harsh reality. For a little light and to burn. To keep on burning until I turn to ash. I know this is random, but I wish I had my nail polish because I would love to be painting my nails right now while I watch. Just going, like, I feel like I'm watching TV. <laughs> Is that so? Then you're already living in the waking world. She's so ominous and cryptic. I love her. We heard about Miss Firefly from Black Swan, but we never expected Miss Robin. Oh my god, and she's such a big fan. Someone check on Marge. <sighs> Poor girl. I'm sorry that I couldn't be with you then. It's not Reality your fault. cruises on in serenity while undercurrents bubble up from the dreamscape just like that memo keeper said stay strong everyone i mean we can still do what we can for them starting with finding the murderer let's recap Bro, i am not no nancy then. drew the trailblazer just reminded me of something march do you remember what that family rep who negotiated with us said this is Sunday, right? Mm, indeed, we trust that the Nameless has nothing to do with this. And we also beg each of you to help assist the family in verifying the identity of the deceased. Uh, that's how it was put, in reference to Miss Firefly. Looking back, he seemed a little evasive at the time. And he also failed to mention anything about the earlier murder, too. The family is planning on covering up all news about Miss Robin's death. If news gets out, Penacony is going to turn into a bloodbath. Why are people just going to start killing each other? Closely after was obviously Hi, the only anticipation. You? The family had to try and turn things to their advantage by bringing in reinforcements from outside. The Charmony Festival. I'm sorry. What was your name again? They must be your username is so number. distracting. I forgot what your actual name was. <laughs> it may also be that Miss Firefly's murder had so many witnesses that it couldn't be covered up. Whereas no one so saw Robin with the flow and let more people on the scene to control Kenny. The okay, situation. sorry, Kenny. Welcome, Kenny. How are you? <laughs> After all, the nature of the two murders is fundamentally different. The family's first protective measure should be against malicious actors among the guests, such as that IPC envoy. Well, I don't think. See, Aventurine and Acheron. Well, I guess it. I don't know who to trust. That's a thing. Because. They have conflicting interests, the two of them. But I think we're like the neutral party. But I don't know who we're going to align with more. You know? Indeed. He was particularly concerned about He is scared of her, but I trust him. I just think he's annoying, but I also here? trust Akron, so I'm like confused as to why they're like Adventuring's reasons for you know? accusing Miss Acheron were highly subtle. Can we believe him? I don't know. At this point, I'm afraid the only ones we can trust are ourselves. Or it might just be we're like in the middle. Like we're Look, literally just let's try to gather intel first and then list. I guess both groups have their ulterior motives, whereas we're literally just like we we're just a casualty in all this, bro. Like we're just swept up in it. The hmm. fewer facts remaining, the closer we are to the truth. I've still got this sense of foreboding. It's like we're stuck in a whirlpool. It Spinning around that legacy even after everything that's happened. You're welcome, Mayu. Uh, you know, that's what I'm saying. Like, bro, I'm just trying to go to Disney. Like, where's Pluto? <laughs> like, fuck. Where's start, Goofy? <laughs> what are we going to say to the family and adventuring? As I see things, the family harbors no ill will towards the Astral Express. If they didn't trust the crew, they wouldn't have casually commissioned outsiders to investigate a case that's in all likelihood a scandal. I feel like they, but like at the same time, like why Plus, would they let us in on that? Like I feel like they're trying to like turf. rope us into Team it. Work with them should make things easier for Who us knows, in the future. Who dog, Darcy? As for that adventurine, well, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Yeah, He's the dog. complex. He deliberately slow played his hand during negotiations while running circles around us all the while. He appealed convincingly to both reason mm. and emotion. It wasn't forced, but the intent was obvious. Pluto is a planet in my Still, heart. 
It's good to have very far away. among all this uncertainty. Adventurine showed his skills, and as far as our interests Me too, Darcy. Are, <laughs> That's actually crazy to be some the exact same thing. We also need to keep a certain distance from the family. Pluto's Never a cutie pie. Planet close. and dog. Teaming up with the IPC helps balance that out. If either side makes a move, we have the option to pull out. So you suggest accepting Aventurine's proposal to team up? Yes. It's risky, but we can only wait until both sides have played their cards before making any further judgments. That's what I think. Well, it's annoying because I want to know what's happening now, but, but I have to wait. There's a whole lot of bad guys and girls around here, and I'm worried about getting stabbed in the back. She's been bullied a few times now, and I can't stand I've it anymore. I've been bullied. Oh, you can bully me whenever. Are you? <laughs> no, I can't accept this. Oh. Uh, forget about it. Just let me keep an eye on him. If that doesn't work, we can just turn the tables and use him instead. Then Aventurine? could you please reply to Aventurine? I... Everyone, I, mm. take this time to put together your thoughts. Put together my thoughts. Oh my god, a collab! We're gonna collab with Aventurine. Ooh. I bet you... Now, I almost said something crazy. <laughs> money! That's a lot of money. I'm just saying that's it. I'm rich! Maybe I do like adventuring, guys. Never mind, guys. Me and adventuring are best friends. Like this, me and him, we've always been close. Looks like adventuring is happy with this outcome. Let's tell everyone about it. Hey, what's this? What the fuck? Okay, that was ominous. I do wonder how long it. Well, her hair's not that crazy, actually. It's just a top knot. Or like a half knot. He gave me 100k twice, dumbass. What do you think that is? 100 plus 100. Try and recapture what do you get? For IPC. To do this, he'll have to bring down the family in its entirety to create a big enough chance. Wait, he gave you an extra 200k? The existence of death will oh, be oh, never mind. Okay, okay, okay. So how does he plan on taking them down? It's got to be the auction. I said, give me more money. Everyone will notice. I said, but it also can't be anything too out in the open. I think he's against the family. He's definitely going for the family. And it's just a matter of how. The harmony is strong in Penacony. And almost impossible to take on head to head. That's what he said to the me fact too. That the IPC dispatched Venturine shows that they do not intend to simply play by the book here. An attack on the hotel guests? Unlikely. Pinnacone's guests include quite a few bigwigs known throughout the whole cosmos. People who not even the IPC would dare take lightly. Aventurine is a shrewd merchant, and there's no way he doesn't know that. Aventurine has I don't think he's going after her. I think her. he's scared of her because he could either she could one kill everyone, which is true, or she could ruin his plans, her. which is like also can't true. Rush to any conclusions. Hmm. I, I don't think he's going after us. Considering this possibility, especially because he I'd be surprised so if he was like had like if they had something against us specifically. Unless they know that Perhaps I'm like a. He's also unsure of your intentions and is probing you. Like maybe he knows I'm about like my real issue. In any case, we have to be careful when handling Aventurine. He's skilled at reading people and discerning the right moment to strike. I don't know, y'all. He's clearly a born gambler if he's willing to go all in to win. He fights like he's got nothing to lose, and that scares me. Welt! 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 
Wilt. He accused that Galaxy Wilt. Ranger of killing Robin without any evidence whatsoever, but said nothing about her connection to that memory zone meme or why he was stalking you. It was a groundless accusation, which only serves to make him seem more suspicious. Maybe Aventurine's goal was never to gain our trust. Maybe he wanted to foster a feeling of enmity towards Acheron and make the think he wants me and like us and Acheron to take each other out? Birds, one stone. That could be kind of crazy. I asked Don Hung back on the express to confirm <laughs> Don Hung is just like the waiting on the ship. Like he does not care. Lost messages. Like, get me out of here, bro. It wasn't something that Aventurine made up out of thin air. You've met her many times now. What's your impression of Miss Acheron? Uh, we're in love. She's really nice to us. Oh, 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 okay. That fits the stereotype of a galaxy ranger to Memory wipe. Tea. They're eccentric, unpredictable, and fond of being alone. No wonder she's a suspect. I wish I had fuzzy socks on right now. My toesies are cold. Might have to go put on some fuzzy socks, y'all. Hey, nobody, did I, did any of you guys ask? Cause I didn't ask, but me too, girl. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Firefly. I got excited for a second. Hey, Marchy girl. I hope it's not too soon to bring it up, but I feel like Miss Robin isn't actually dead, but that she's still alive and well. This is so ominous. Somewhere. I don't like it. But everything's just some horrible prank. Because aren't we supposed to be inside a dream? How could someone die in a beautiful dreamscape like this? I mean, aren't nightmares considered dreams? Like... Here? Uh, whenever I see the Grand Theater, I just can't stop all these thoughts from flooding my head. No, no. After all, they've brought everyone this sleepy dreamscape, which everyone loves. I just feel like I'm starting to understand them less and less. Everyone's still having a great time out there on the streets. Nobody knows what's happened. It's all so unreal. As if Firefly, Miss Robin, and us. We're all outsiders from another world. Aw, what a mess. I really want a nice cool drink of soda to help me calm down. <sighs> but then I'd be just like everyone else out on the streets. Looks like Adventurine doesn't need anything else. Let's turn our attention to the family's assignment for now. Himako, what do you think? Among our current clues, the two murders that she witnessed are the most directly connected. I suggest starting here. Good idea. We should start One with the murders when investigating the murders. If a person dies in a dream, what happens to them in real life? Seeing as we're at the family's behest, why not pop back out to reality and verify Miss Firefly's It's giving like Sword Art Online, like if they die in the game, they die in real life. We don't know. Make a few inquiries but about her while out there. How about we split off into two groups? There are still some things worth focusing on inside the dreamscape. I'll investigate those and we can link up again later. Worth focusing on? Oh, no problem. I'll leave it to you then. Uh-huh. Aw, I thought I'd finally get to see Himeko and Mr. Yang go out on a mission together. <laughs> oh, well. March is like, I'm a child of divorce. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Keep in touch. Love you. Love you, Well. Hmm. Aw, don't be sad. Honored guest, uh, could you come out for a second? What the hell? Please say, oh, I thought it was Sampo for a second. <laughs> I got scared. This is a much more pleasant outcome. Hey, girlfriend. Please don't hurt well. I'd be embarrassed too, getting stared at like that. Uh, forgive me. Uh, my name is Welt Yang. I'm one of the crew members on the Astral Express. I believe you've met my colleagues. 
Hell yeah, we're best friends. Wow. She's like, I know you from Star Rail or Honkai Impact Third, which she probably does. Don't you want to know my name? I think we already do. I already do, Miss Macaron. You're a prominent figure in Panacone. What are they saying about me? All good things, girl. Some don't worry. Some that you're the real culprit behind these murders. I don't the think she killed Robin. The gang's tragic fate at the banquet was a result of your blade. No. And that you're now attempting to unleash another bloodbath on Penicone. The Annihilation Gang. Ifrit of Everflame Mansion. Tragic fate. That duke turned his dying body to flames and sacrificed his life as martyr. He was a determined and heroic path strider. I had a feeling you get the I same amount of money anyways. Disparaged like this. And what's more, there were plenty of suspects invited. Do they really think that a blade is more dangerous than that black hole you're wielding? Oh. Oh. Keen intuition. Not even the family managed to point out the truth behind this king. So you must surely know, Miss Acheron. That peering into a black hole is not a wise move. As oh, he's a squaring up. Threat, your it's a show of, of arms right here. I didn't realize. Comfortable depths. Reveal your true identity and intentions. Otherwise, brace yourself for gravitational disintegration. Are they gonna fight? That you better be not. Necessary. But if it makes the nameless feel less defensive, I'll be happy to abide. Okay, Whew, I got scared. Yeah, me too, honestly. Believe it or not, Galaxy Ranger, Acheron. Those are the names I go by to this very day. My trip to Panacone is solely to fulfill an old final request. Not Dukes though, right? I'm here for the Watchmaker's legacy. And oh. that's it. I think I've been honest enough. Still unwilling to reveal your true identity? Uh, she said... I don't think it's she not knows. That I don't want to. It's just that I can't. I've come so far, and I can't sum up all of that in just a few words. Everyone has their own unspeakable past. Secrets that they don't want to be revealed. And I won't be asking any more questions, such as why the Astral Express is roaming around the cosmos with a Stellaron on board. Hey, leave me alone. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my okay? fault. That memo keeper didn't do anything. Oh, right? Blackstall wouldn't hurt us. She's fine. Let's just stick with the topic. Gaining my trust depends on how much you're willing to reveal. I've run around many different Panacone dreamscapes just to try and find that legacy. And during this period, I came into contact with quite a few guests. In the process, I gradually came to realize the secret of Panacone may be closely related to the Trailblaze. That's why I've come to ask for your help. I don't have enough proof yet, but I'd like to speculate something. The source of all tragedy lies within the family. If you could trust me, we could find the proof to support this claim together. Mr. Yang. I think you've come to the same conclusion. I agree. However, I have a question. If you're you're just sitting in that tub, right, when we're Let's in the dreamscape, so couldn't they just that. like For now, kill us, Loki, while we're just in that tub? That like, aren't we hostility. kind of defenseless, like our real life bodies? Share your findings with me. Or do we like physically teleport? Alone. I don't want vague conjecture. This seems like a consciousness. Other people's judgments before we find solid proof. Like Sword Art Online, for example. Mm -hmm. You know. By the way, would you like something to drink? Before we go, how about two cups of wake the heck up? Oh, we're getting drunk, you know, how you? Four cups. Oh, I just kicked my face. The conversation coming up will last forever. I've been watching her closely for a while now, and the first invitation was in the banquet hall of the hotel. She just sat in one corner, keeping silent, chugging down a couple cups of wake the heck up. I told her it's a pungent, bitter beverage, not the taste of sweet dreams, only for people allergic to Soul Glad. And she said, 
Really? But I don't taste any difference at all between them. She's... Hmm. The guest rooms are charmingly minimalist. Well, this An is aesthetic you share, Miss Acheron. She's minimalist? It's a cinch. This music box. The invitation received by the Annihilation Gang. Don't worry. There are latent memories that linger on it yet. You see, memories of you are not yours alone. They travel in other people, other things. I know much, and I can predict even more. With some help, the dead can be made to speak. What does that mean? The Annihilation Gang, that band of desperados who all disappeared after meeting you. What exactly happened to them? Well, let me reveal all. What? Wait! Gradation Wait. 12. Dreamscape 12. Father, I dedicate this. These don't to match. You. Whatever. Well done, Dubra. Wherever they go, shall be met by annihilation. Okay. There it is. It's hazy, but it's Ifrit's voice. The other one is probably his progeny. This is the residual memory from when the invitation was first delivered. This other stock is so They're uncomfortable. Abruptly interrupted. Then, what happened next is... Is... Question mark? refuge in a land of sleep. Merely wishing for undisturbed rest. Away from the storms. Children of the flame. This marks your right of passage. She won't be necessary. I alone am enough. Shh. Oh. When have thou, on the path of destruction, feared? Well, the sure Everflame so Mansion has set out on a journey. Those poor people. They have no idea what lies in wait ahead of them. Right, Rob. Memory recovery is going well, but slowly. <laughs> She'll be here soon, and time is short. There's nobody else here, so there's no need to be delicate. In fact, I think I'd better go all out. <gasps> oh. What happened? I don't know. The memory after that is blank. How is that possible? This music box fell into Acheron's hands and she brought it to Panacone. That's a fact, and that's how it should have gone. But along the way. It's like it's been erased. Who's done this? Unrelated, but that music very much reminded me of Amori music. That bam, 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 like. Who are you? Whose voice is that? Who are you? It's. No. Is this not a memory? Oh, a memo keeper. Do you serve the Garden of Recollection? Or the Cremators? My name is Constance. Oh, well, it's A Constance. to meet you. We were supposed to meet in Pentagoni and spend it... <laughs> Unforgettable. That's an together. ominous laugh. But that seems unrealistic. Dahlia's not welcome on the banquet store. And I don't need a coming-of-age ceremony. Just kick my... Camera. And you. I know what you're looking for. Was she the one with um the red hair? Want her secret? I can give it to you, and then you can enjoy the banquet for me. I wish you 
Long oh, forgettable memories. Can you send me a picture? Can you send me a picture of all of them? I close a big hat. I don't oh. remember. Blue lady? A phone. Wanna listen in? A few days ago, oh, the okay. IPC made an announcement. I remember her. Under the watchful guidance of the Marketing Development Department and in accordance with the Interstellar okay. Peace Charter, the independent Sigonian sovereignty has hereby been established and shall take a legislative seat at the Interstellar Congress. The formation of the Sigonian sovereignty is of great historical significance to the Sigonia system. This move puts an end to the planet's long and bloody history, turning the sensational Kataka Abjin extinction event into a distant memory. Sigonia 4 is located in an unclaimed zone at the intersection is that of where the um, Adventuring is from? and Dorno star clusters. The planet's surface environment is known for being extremely harsh, constantly faced with the threat of impact from small-scale celestial objects. This is why very few intelligent species have made this planet their home, dividing themselves into several tribes to eke out nomad lifestyles as they struggle to survive the arid desert wilderness. They have developed their own folk beliefs that are independent of the Eon belief system. Sigonia. Sigonia. Ravenous eye of the storm, spurned by all the gods. Was this baby adventuring? Land of rock, but not water. Lightning, but not rain. Blood, but not tears. You beat us with your falling stars. You lash us with wind and storm. You chew us up with the cracked earth. She's losing it. You promised us a land of honey, yet yoked us beneath a sword of bitterness. Oh, Gyathra Triclops, if thou can hear me, Please open up thy three eyes and gaze upon this child. I thought when you oh Triclops, I was like I thought Triclops only my had one eye. My bad. Was still sleeping in my belly, and where my husband went, I too soon must go. Oh well, that's unfortunate. I don't ask for a peaceful death. Just for you to tell me. Does the baby swaddled sweetly asleep? Does he dream of his mother's heartbeat and the sound of falling rain? Please tell me whether this life is all just a fleeting dream. Otherwise, why would this child be born to face impending death? Ominous? Mommy! 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 The rain! It's raining! Aww. Raining? It's raining, man! <gasps> That's not raining. appropriate. I'm sorry. It's true. Those elf elders weren't lying to us. They really did summon the rain. Mommy, we can leave here. We can go back home. So his mom isn't dead? I thought he was an orphan. A little orphan adventuring. Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> you came. <laughs> Do you hear that? Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Darling, listen. This is the sound of rain. 
Oh, is that a different kid? On the day you were born, the sky also sent down a gift like uh -oh. this from Gayatra. <laughs> Such a lucky child. Such a blessed child. Just like Who's, your name. Who was the little kid talking? Mommy, mommy. He's a, a baby. Gift from them to Avgen. The goddess Gayatra. Close her eyes three times. Keep your blood. Oh, okay. See, Eternal I thought you were yelling at me because I was wrong. I was confused. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes. Schemes? If she knew he was going to be a trifling ass hoe, even from birth, that's crazy. Welcome to the sad world, Kakavasha. Kaka. I'm sorry. So adventuring isn't his real name then? <sighs> Time to wake up, gambler. <laughs> oh, oh, heavens. <laughs> I must have drunk too much soul glad. Uh, didn't expect you to be back so soon. How is it? Find anything? Just as you've oh, not these two again. Nobody oh my god, migraines galore. I like the color of adventuring hair. Theories. That is also They're the blonde I would like to blonde. Streaming the rehearsal my hair. for her ceremony using a stand in, I guess. They must be dreaming. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> who could imagine that death would actually descend upon the idyllic dream created by the family? Let alone that the victim would be the female lead of the Charmony Festival. To be honest with okay, you, Mayu. I didn't believe it. Go ahead, put yourself on timeout. I time tested out. it a few times myself until I discovered that I couldn't actually die. <laughs> what? Whenever there's any danger, I'm forced to wake by the dream pool, and it's all as if everything were just a nightmare. And that's why I'm convinced that there are a few big secrets lurking behind the scenes. Huh. So your body is defenseless when you're in the here. dreamscape, no? When I graciously deigned to establish connections with the Oak family on your behalf, they were quite in a pitiful state of disarray. Huh. Besides Robin, there was another body. I don't know the exact details, just that it was a stowaway. Pussy, why didn't he do it in real cases? life? Why Penacony? <laughs> I told you something seemed off about the nameless. Oh, she must have come across the other I'm kidding. one. I'm kidding, by the way. I was a joke. <laughs> this murderer was is a joke. psycho. I met in Roblox. But I have to admit, the case should be easy to crack. We can leverage the family's malfeasance and let the IPC use this as a reason to intervene. It's just that their trickery runs deeper than I thought. Robin Stannon was all ready to go. <sighs> These two murders are definitely getting hushed up. What should we do? Let me think. It's too rare an opportunity to miss out on, so I gotta be careful. Incredible gambler. Have you already exhausted your limited repertoire of tricks so soon? Oh, there are plenty of chips, but it'd be best to choose carefully. The most straightforward has to be Robin. Remember? That masked fool once told me to find a mute as a friend. Robin is what she calls the mute. She has lost her voice, and while most people can't pick up on it, you and I cannot mistake that sound. Not produced by any voice box, but rather by the resonance of the harmony. Wait, Robin can't talk? If that girl hadn't gone hoarse from singing practice, there'd only be one possibility. Something was up with the Did family. Did we not speak with Robin? Or Robin herself. To get to the bottom of this, I tried every way I could to meet her, but she died right before my very eyes. Oh my god, there's a bird behind him. A complete I have to go get that bird. Loss. Incidentally, it seems to have resulted in your rather undignified arrival on the interrogation stand. Oh, right, okay. There were eyewitnesses at the scene, and the family, in their graciousness, has tentatively accepted <laughs> yeah. your alibi. 
However, for the foreseeable future, you shall, regrettably, find yourself under the vigilant watch of the hounds. Oof. Well, things aren't looking Sorry, too optimistic, I don't know. Okay, Doctor. Okay, my bad. Starting to break out in a cold sweat. D do you reckon... There's still any chance of a comeback, given how things are. A probability. You could be smart, yes, Amber. It exists, Look at me. It verges on the infinitesimal. To phrase I'm neither it in of those a manner things. more befitting the vernacular of Penacony, <laughs> you're dreaming. But if you simply can't control yourself and want to try your hand, then there just so happens to be a suitable candidate. That man wants to see you again. That man? Who? Sunday? Sunday. Oh my god, I'm a mind reader. <sighs> Is this a public hearing or a private trial? If it were the former, it would hardly befit my stature to stoop to the role of a mere <laughs> stupid little smile. <laughs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> well, that's great. It's all great. You see, the dead can't talk, but the living can. What? Nothing Which gets you past you. Now that there must be something wrong inside the family. <laughs> oh, just you wait and see. Batman's sister has died. He can't sit on his hands. I think he will. Well, without any further ado, let's set off. Lead the way. The show is about to begin. Wait, let me get the bird first, please. I need to get that bird. I need to get that bird. Let me get that bird. We're here. Oh. The Dewlite Pavilion is Ooh, the chest. Oak family's fortress and a place where heads of the families meet to discuss great plans <gasps> Another bird. for Panacone. A fortress? <laughs> oh, I like child this there. metaphor. I dealt with the warlords of the Amanica star system not long ago, and their synchronized This reminds me of that melted Wasn't clock painting. Do you guys know the one, the famous one? What's it called? This I forgot what it's called. This nominally belongs to Sunday and is very befitting of its owner. Without his express invitation, the likes of ordinary guests would never grace these grounds in their lifetimes. Look around while you still have this moment of freedom. Oh, excuse me. Hey, Doc. Whose side are you on anyway? Who's to say I won't sell you out? <laughs> we'll see. When we meet the authoritarian master of the Oak family, I'll pry an answer out of him. Follow me and I'll bring you Is to Is that what it's armor. called by you? Hold your tongue and let me deal with the members of the family. I feel like adventuring's too like triggering, Loki. Like I'd be so mad if he was asking me questions and shit. It's a place of business. No entry. Get out the fuck out of my way, kid. I was requested by Mr. Sunday to bring him the suspect. My name is Ratio. The perfume one he is He should unique. have mentioned it to you. Oh, I remember you. Veritas Ratio. Your punch Veritas virtual Ratio. is impressive. <laughs> impressive. Excuse me? Oh. Uh, the one on your head. Of course, it's nothing compared to my... Full pocket dimensional annihilating power armor of the mobile knights. Ah. Right. And as I mentioned, that fantasy raiment of yours doesn't exist. He's dragging him. Get his ass. That's because you can't see it. Like I say, only family can see the glory of the mobile knights. Ugh, enough. Get going. Don't keep Mr. Sunday waiting. <sighs> this <little> <sighs> It seems like the idiocy index here is no better than it is out there. All my students are idiots! <laughs> Ooh. <gasps> Just a pinch. No! A dead end? The door is shut tight. Looks like we're on our They're own. censoring me, damn it! I mean, there isn't a door. How did you get in before? For security reasons, the family built the administrative site deep in the dreamscape, with the mechanisms hidden in these Nightingale statues. The direction of the statues can be controlled. On the previous occasion, 
An attendant named Kona had gone to the Psy oh. room to verify something before setting the statues in the correct positions. Well, maybe we should do the same. Let's go and take a look. <laughs> of course, we can also use brute force. See, I don't like the way he says things. It scares me. Six nightingales facing in different directions. An obvious hint. Mm. But are these nightingales? That's right. They are. What's wrong? Right up. How up, can nightingales up, be so huge? Right. <laughs> they look up, more like right. torment eagles to me. Up, up right. There are no eagles in the five families. Only nightingales. Oh, I don't. <sighs> oh, never mind. Why am I wasting time with you? I thought I was gonna have to like go replicate that. I got Noivis. <sighs> Just as I thought. Here's the correct answer. I didn't need the cheat sheet. A I'm a genius. Perhaps I should offer you the chance to join the Genius Society. Genius. Really? <laughs> well, I thought you'd given up on that already. I was being sarcastic. Can't you tell? Not really, brother. Oh, impressive. <laughs> well, so much for Mr. Sunday's reserved, virtuous image. Do you need me to remind you? We're in a dreamscape. No matter how grand the mansion looks, it'll not affect Penacone. Stop wasting your time nitpicking the family here. Yeah, you're right. The only way to destroy the family is death. <laughs> oh, wow. Sunday must have thought the same. Let's head down. Hold uh -oh. on. Huh? <laughs> What's wrong? Are we heading the wrong way? No, but this door is locked. My friend? Did you really make an appointment with him? He says, it's I don't want to see your ass. You got to prove your worth to Sunday before you can speak with him. If I'm not to go wrong, to the other we need puzzles? to find a way to open this door in the hall, or this place will be our prison. Oh! Oh, an escape room. <laughs> my favorite. I did an escape room recently with my family. It was actually pretty hard, but it was a lot of fun. I we didn't no finish it in time, sadly. Games. But I had a good Let's time. head back. The hint is probably in that prominent sandpit. Sandpit? <laughs> wow. Now that's an enormous sandpit. I'd love to build a tall building for myself. Once I have enough savings. Okay. Oh, look. <laughs> There's a noticeable gap in the model. I believe you're right. There wasn't a gap before. That man must have done it intentionally. Oh, oh, you're a demon. You That's how was that a fun job? Like, would you just watch people on the time. cameras? Right, Doctor? Of course. Let's look around. When I see it, I will know it. <laughs> Fine. Fine. Why do I feel that we're pursuing a degree in burglary now? <laughs> a degree in burglary is crazy. Oh, nauseating. And the nameplate reads Gulliver's Arch. <laughs> well, I'm amazed you can remember something this tiny. You know, this reminds me of a tunnel I once saw that could shrink people who passed through it. If I were you, I would shut my mouth. It's wise to remain silent when you should. He's a little bit rude. A little bit rude if I say so myself. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys. You know, with the blocks. <laughs> I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than stacking chips. Well, I feel like he's like that kind of smart where they're just like completely exasperated oh, look, with everyone else. The gap is closed. You know and what I mean? So they're like, oh my, like literally the, <laughs> oh my students are so idiots. Like next? that thing. We can go inside? What? 
I'm little now. Oh! Oh, oh good heavens. D did I drink? A am I still in a dream? Indeed. Oh, Doctor, you're huge. It's me! Down here! In the, the sand pit! Oh, actually, oh. I think we could make this work for us. Just find a way to slip me into Sunday's collar and I'll infiltrate the family just Slipping like him in that. his collar is crazy. He is kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, fine. I was just kidding. Let's find a way to open the door. Hello! Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. I am an Oak soldier. I will be here to guide you through the tour of the base model. Happy to be of service. Hmm. And tell me about the tour. Hello. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <laughs> base. I am an old Dono Wall. You got Dono Wall. Who did? Oh, Chica did. What happened? Of the base mall. Banana bread. What kind of banana bread? Like chocolate chip or just regular old? Model. Happy to be a I should have kicked it. Honestly, that would have been kind of funny, low key. Gen aiding guide. Please wait patient. Oh, like vocals. Found the nearest check-in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule. Look, Please look uh, behind me. Model. This is kind of an icon. This guy. I'm not gonna lie. He didn't What's even have time to earn a five-star rating. Now the family's great. toys are trying to frame me. I didn't do a thing to it, Doc. You've got to be my witness. Oh, capsule machine. Hey, Andre, how are you? Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. Could there be one at the top? Doctor, do me a favor. Pick him up. So, I was right. These models have interiors that look exactly like the real buildings. The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. Insecure much? <laughs> he, called, he said he had a little pee pee. He said he had a little pee pee. He said Sunday has a little pee pee. That's what he said. That's what eventually literally just said. I heard it. I heard it. Collecting. Hold on. Piece of cake. Some may argue I don't know anything at all. This tour of Toy City has come to an end. It makes me feel sad. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. That's crazy. He wanted me Sunday to die. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not someone easily handled. Are you prepared? No, I'm scared, Loki. Yeah. Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face okay. me. Okay, is this now the time for the posturing? Tell me about your plan. I don't have a plan. Oh wow! Well. I'll just play it by ear. Genius. There are only two kinds of bargaining chips when dealing with people. Benefit or fear? Well, I'm scared of everybody. Like sincerity isn't in so, your dictionary. That's crazy that he said Am that. Am I not sincere enough? <laughs> There's no need to emphasize it. We've got to make good Fuck. use of death. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. I guess so. And I'll help him find the murderer. He can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. I mean, I guess that is like On smart. On what basis do you believe he's incapable? 
necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction, the IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. Everyone's sus of the family. I'm, I'm glad at least... Uh, um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? Well, she's not part of the family, <laughs> is she? an excuse, good doctor. There's something wrong with that woman. We need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control while we execute our plans. Moreover, I need to know her identity. If I'm lucky. <laughs> she could be an important pawn. And it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. But honestly, the murder case is likely unrelated to her. I believe my standpoint. There's a rat in the family. Otherwise, rat. why would Mr. Sunday arrange a, a private rat. meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation, but a secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, I'll win back my freedom and power. What? Were you not certain about it? You can't In tell the me. End, I'll ruin this. It's a lot of fun, Fawn. You'll like it. I think at least. The it's different than Genshin. Death. It's not open world, and it's not. If um... the chance of winning is just beyond this door. Even if that chance is close to it's, zero. Uh, the combat's <laughs> boring, I think, in my opinion. You can't win if you don't play. Right. Ah, the charming audacity. To think that you, of all people, might emerge victorious, dear gambler. Three chips are enough. Yeah, you can whale, for sure. All or nothing. Okay. It seems my yeah. puzzles are too effortless for you, IPC ambassador. I see P. I, I appreciate cup. your words. I see you P. And I see you put a lot of effort <laughs> into welcoming me, Mr. Sunday. <laughs> However, this is no way to greet a guest. Oh my goodness! Such an well, attitude. This isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. Look at his little I devious smirk. This knowledgeable doctor friend of yours has been of great help. Yes. I mean, some might say. Certainly. But you ought to know this better than I do. Yeah, ten free pulls every patch. It's crazy. He's faithfully fulfilled his duties, hasn't he? Yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. He considers you, like himself, a virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. I have come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. The fact that you succeeded in overcoming many obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. But there's one thing I must ask you. That is, you've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person, and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. You don't look too well. Am I making you anxious? You're making me sick, is what you're if making not, me. then it means I'm on your side. Sorry. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation. You think my headset will connect? My bathroom's like right next to my room. You think I go to the bathroom while I listen to this? You weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping hmm. around you. Well, there's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled have to potty. in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since Go she piss, returned girl. to Real. What's more disheartening, she can't sing anymore. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know you hold a different opinion. Now your noble status has become a shackle, preventing you from apprehending He's crazy, the murderer bro. and avenging your sister's death. You're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry, I'm on your side. I'm immensely honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine, since you're so selfless and generous i believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return would you 
Oh, naturally, you wouldn't I don't have to go that badly. I just have to I go. I just want to reclaim I'm not gonna, like, what is mine. Body myself, like I'll be my fine. My liberty <laughs> and the personal items under the. I just wanted to see if custody, I could. I thought it'd be funny. The bag of gift money and the box in which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Cornerstone. I've heard it's a treasured asset of the strategic investment department. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting significant power. And every liquidation specialist holds one. For an object so precious. His voice is very refreshing, even considering the two that we've been listening to for the past hour. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. Mr. Aventurine. When you are out and about, oh my God, a push. Do you I always that. make Back adjustments in my day. <laughs> to your appearance. Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight, and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. What? Of course. But I don't, because it's not appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving he's the like, house. He's like, he susses me out. I don't, he doesn't give me an ick necessarily. Risks, the I just don't must trust be him. In the custody of the Whereas family. like eventually and I trust, but he just pisses me off. No room for negotiation. Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Sure. Thanks, Mayu. The gift money is good enough. I suppose you wouldn't mind that. After all... A merchant can't function without a bargaining chip. It just means you find is history and stuff like that easier than math. Than that's, something, that's actually pretty normal. Unfortunately, some people it's a struggle with other subjects more than. Chip, not a merchant. I can give you your gift. Others, money. you know. But before that, I want you to tell me. Uh oh, tell him what? Tell him what? The fact that you can decisively forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? Triple-faced soul, please sear his tongue and what? palms with a hot iron, so that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. What's happening? What's, what's this freak doing? What have you done? Under the light of the harmony, all wickedness is revealed. I implore them to shed their light, and I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next. You have 113 seconds to prove your innocence and gain my trust. Oh, wow. No pressure. And if I refuse to answer? You can try. And we'll see if the harmony rejects you. I'd rather not try, personally, but... <laughs> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? <laughs> yes. What a simple answer. You, too, understand that idle chatter leads only to poverty. Is that one of Black Swan's birds, or what? Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? Yes. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? Yes. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing, but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgin from Sigonia? Yes. You even know about that? Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family more than yourself? She doesn't have one. Yes. All the Avgins were killed in a massacre. Am I right? Oh. No. Well, he's right here, Are so you clearly. Your clan's sole survivor. Perhaps. Does he not know? 
Do you <gasps> Good night, robot. hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? It's getting deep. I don't know. Okay, that's Interesting. Fair. Now, the final question. Are you? Is your gun pink? Swear that at this very Sorry. moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box. I mean. Hmm. Hmm. What? <laughs> of course. Is he lying? Mm -hmm. Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. A oh, the 113 is an angel number? I just assumed he got he had two minutes and that he started it and the seven seconds was the introduction. Please. So much humphing. Are these what you're looking for? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got scared. I thought he was going to blow up or something. Since you came as promised, learned doctor, does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What? What makes you think you can convince me? I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurine's company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. If it's you funny, considering he's the, the pettiest family, person in this game. I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be quite aware that, besides the family, no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? Someone gift five subs and I'll screenshot what Mayu said. I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive I can plan. see it right here. I can see all three of them. Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. But I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. First three for me. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. I like how deep his voice the is. Cornerstone, which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? I mean, he said it was. <laughs> you question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The Ten Stone Hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. Damn. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. I believe you, Maya. Honestly, you Trust should me, see a shrink. You. you should see a shrink is crazy. Bring it. The box containing the cornerstone is unique. And only IPC senior staff and related members only can access ICUP it. Only ICUP senior staff. But I happen to be among them. Oh, wow. <laughs> I appreciate it. Unfortunately, I your guess is correct. What's not his? <laughs> the golden stone. Its color and glow are similar to that of Klepoth's body. 
This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the Why is he like ratting on him right now? Them an unparalleled radiance. And this golden statue is also known as Topaz, not Adventurine. And it belongs to Topaz. Does that mean he killed Topaz for this? So, do you wish to confront him? Uh, not at the moment. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. The safest place somewhere you I mean, never I guess. Think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact, that cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. You just had it in the bag? I see. This bag. Mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. It's also kind of funny. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. I just don't get why he would go through the effort Learned of all this doctor. and like snitching. I'm like, what's his agenda, you, you know? The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. As I'm a little the lost villain. too, girl. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. It was all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you wretch. <laughs> Finally shown your true colors, huh? Oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Huh? Treasure your remaining time. And savor the delectable aftertaste of defeat. <sighs> you might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the Harmony's consecration. You were to show allegiance. Adventuring got him killed? Or not adventuring? I mean, yet ratio. Willfully, uttering nothing. Yeah, yeah Aspen, you should go to bed if you fell asleep at your desk. Transforming the consecration Rest up, brother. into a trial. I genuinely see no reason to absolve you from it. <laughs> is this what the harmony represents? But is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. <sighs> oh, sounds like I'm gonna end up the same either way. I indeed do need a servant to help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge in the, beginnings, the evil from the will inside. come into your life. Interesting. And bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. When the time comes, Compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy and honesty. Shameless hypocrites. You took everything from me and still demand the truth? That isn't fair. Your carnival reeks with the stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. Carnival is crazy. <laughs> this is meant to be an act of personal virtue, not requiring the family's support. Your bag is over there. Do as you please. 
I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Why did they build free? This meeting isn't an interrogation or a negotiation. It's an outright execution. <laughs> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. Oh, another? What is it now? You... Do you, you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? <gasps> Kakavasha! Where did you go? Oh, are you injured? I got it back, sister. You went to look for them? That's too dangerous. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. Who can survive without it? I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look for those catechins again, okay? Sister, don't be afraid. The catechins are fools, but I'm smart. I played a game with them, and I won. Won? What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. I won fair and square. Of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a lucky child. Gayathra Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those... those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how Mom and Dad... Oof. Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha... You are my only family. I'm sorry, sister. I thought you'd be happy. Because mom left you this necklace. Maybe his sister's missing? Because he said perhaps, but I don't know what he was telling the truth about what he was lying in that like, no sequence either. Time. So I don't know. It is important, but not as important as you, my dearest brother. I, I don't oh God, blame you, so but bad. you must remember what mom said. Pain and poverty are the trials of Gayathra Triclops. She has also granted us a chance. And that's your good luck, Kakavasha. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Avgen have. You're a child blessed by Gayathra Triclops and can lead the clan to happiness. So Ugh. always remember to protect yourself. Didn't do the best job of that, huh? The pain and poverty you're going through. All right? Listen to me and swear to Gayathra Triclops. Okay. We'll swear to Gayathra Triclops to protect this. Oh. <laughs> but sister, if Gayathra Triclops was really watching over us, then why did she not protect dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? Oh, Dad went well, to the Catechins land only to yes. prepare for Gaiathra Triclops offerings. And where was Gaiathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath till the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises really? me for being smart, but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gaiathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace, then how bad were our sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death?
looking to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? Are you referring to the records when you enter the dream pool? The equipment will monitor physiological indicators, such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Please, Big brother. Rest assured, Big Your brother Mickey. Are monitored in case of emergencies, allowing us to wake you if necessary. This is all for the safety of our guests. Can I trouble you to better. access the records? I apologize. The hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. We can only gain hey. access if there's a problem. I have thoughts. Looks like nothing can be found here. Sometimes. <laughs> At least we know who to look for next. We can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Not Thank nice. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Allie. By the way, is Miss Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her Whimper is crazy. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Which got show? Hmm, I'm sure. So does she sure not enough, know? No one knows about well, Miss Robin. She might know and then not let us I'm know that she surprised. knows. But that Miss Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway. She should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Oh, you're going to jail. The memo keepers have abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend. In the memory zone of Penacony, they thrive effortlessly. A fact proven to us by Black Swan. <sighs> the hacker girl from the Stellaron Hunters used extraordinary so means well. to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. According to the scene witnessed by her, it is like a yeah, like layer rare behind Miss Firefly's case. I love when she's crazy. The Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. But what Both about the ICUP? But what about the IPC? Since they want Penacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <gasps> don't vape, it's bad for you. I vaped in high school because it was funny, but don't vape. The Bravo team has arrived at their designated position. Ready to execute armed evacuation My friend's like 25. Oh no, she, yeah, she just turned 25 and she still vapes. It's so embarrassing. So you can't vape. evacuation? Boss. Aren't you drunk? What do you know? It's more efficient this way. Just like I'd rather you smoke a cigarette. I'm being serious. Act first, report later. I mean that's. I mean that's normal. Most. I feel like a lot of people like RH have tried it at least once. I spent all my year-end bonus on the snowball. I don't want my name on the department's major disciplinary notice. Hey, the dove vape, not it worth it. It's just it's it's an expensive place. habit. In this Could economy, who can IPC afford that? Can, those things I remember were expensive to back when I was in high school. Cats. Or in college. The IPC will be conducting special operations within the so hotel. I can only imagine what it costs now. Please follow the staff in charge of evacuation to the designated safe zones. Definitely. Well, Once you finish out your last pod, well just get rid of it. Or, I don't know, do they sell them like that I'll anymore? a beating for you lot! You've been told not to drink during work hours. Is this Topaz? Take him back to the hotel room. It's Topaz. I'll organize Wait, so we have, or not we, Aventurian has her thing. That report should be written. Miss 25. Topaz? I never thought That's I'd like run into four you on Penacony. <sighs> Long time no see, Astral Express crew. Aventurine has told me a lot about your happenings. 
I'm gonna sound dumb as hell. When the fuck did I meet her? I know who she is, but when do we meet her? It's fine. Do as they ask and try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Yes. All right. As you see, the IPC isn't very popular here on Penaconi. Cordiality from the family is a mere facade. The former frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the IPC I see staff now. No. Only a venturine who carries an invitation is allowed to attend the banquet. An entourage like us. We can only sit around in the reality hotel. Was Topaz one of the banners I missed when I wasn't playing? No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation is not optimistic the pig, right? here. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family. Oh, see, I've Are only done the Ron May interlude. Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We are That's on really our way cute. to the hounds to verify her. some intel. Perhaps you've had dealings with them? <laughs> yep. They're tailing us right now. Why not go and talk to them? They don't take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Well? How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? That's... Just his style. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while Did she let him to take her some stone? dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. But Venturine's luck has always been good. He's always I wonder why. all his cases without a hitch and basically never lost a gamble. Which is why on the issue of retaking Panacone. I'm watching with keen interest. Oof. Ow. Of course. It's business after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. Sorry, I'm moving my thing over. As for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. Remember when the weapon banner wasn't guaranteed? Like no fade points, like that was We're really crazy. We're captain's orders. What, what do you want? Captain's we made a mistake orders. last time, and we're working hard to rectify it now. We don't have time for anything else. Surveilling the IPC executive Topaz, ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Pentecost. Shao X me. We've got the right one this time. So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Hey. Remember me? You killed my friend. Pong. Yeah. You again. Back for more trouble? We're not Back for more trouble? I'm Noemi. Well, Tori Noemi. Spit it out. It's my middle name. Stop bothering us if you've nothing important. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? That's right. We're investigating a murder for the family. Can we speak to A lot of people do, or they think like I just made up Noemi. Like they don't uh, realize that it's like well, my actual name. Hey. So the they think I just like instructed everyone to shut made it up. Traps before I guess he returned from heard from A lot of people assume it's Japanese, which I, that what I find murder? weird. You'd better stop spouting nonsense. I mean, because like to me, like Noemi is such an obviously yeah, right. like we have Hispanic name. Please leave. But I, I've gotten like a lot Looks of people like saying like, oh, I just assumed like Noemi was just but some Japanese shit. And you like the captain is at Dream's Edge. Oh, why don't is we just really? look for the security officer then? It's probably Gallagher. The one Don't's a cute name. Right? Dawn from uh, Sino. Gen four. I bet they're stumped by the case as well. <sighs> Gallagher. Gallagher, where could he be? Hi, Clocky. What old man? 
Yes, it is. Apologies. The Bloodhound family is running an investigation. Hold on a minute. Let me in. I think I've seen you before. The, the gray-haired one. Three and a half hours left. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacone? I don't know if I can do all that. Well, I'm not too tired. I mean, listen, last night I actually didn't even go to bed till 5.30 in the morning. I was so sleep deprived. But if I stay up all night to finish this, I won't stream tomorrow and I'll stream Friday instead. So as long as I don't care about that, then I can stay up. It's a me. Uh, you think you look alike? I know we do. That's my twin. Wait, are you for real? Not possible. It was <sighs> you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver haired girl. He's traumatized. My bad. Uh, I'm not letting you get by this time. <laughs> Please leave. Or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. Huh? Oh my what god. What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? Hold on, sir. We have documents authorized by the family that would aid your investigation. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this Mr. Gallagher? Darcy, get a grip. Who exactly is this Gallagher you keep talking about? There have been a few people mentioning this name. <sighs> Even the one with the gray hair. Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us? She's so sassy. That's all I divulge. Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Nothing on them. Everyone, I want to get like a bright blue or something leave. fun. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, oh, right? Me. We're really sorry for <sighs> troubling you. Let's think of another way. Another way? Oh, that's it! Didn't they say something about Oh, uh, what was it? Clockwork? That got this guy to change his mind. We'll do it again. Can you perform it again? That, uh, clocky magic. Please? Hell yeah. Come here, punk. <sighs> Sorry. No can. Everyone, please leave. I know your thoughts. Let me see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. What? I have a bump on Time to bump. clock out. And no Ouchie. one's gonna stop me. 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 Oh, excuse me. Uh, what? trick of yours i forgot they weren't with it's us when we did all that dangerous. with fireflies so they've like this is their first time experiencing <gasps> at it at least he won't be getting in our way again let's go find that gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case i was wondering what all the commotion was huh oh it's you guys welcome since you made it here what can i do for you hello mr gallagher sir well should be in your tone it sounds like you were expecting us. <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Of course I do. You folks are from the legendary Astral Express and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. 
I remember that little silver-haired girl was to there too. See you I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. The Express can't just overlook the death screaming. of that child. But my sister so will be back to help the family time. get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. The oh, name involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. Why? What's wrong with the family? Does anybody uh, trust the family nothing. anymore? On Pentacone, everyone loves the family. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Idiots, little Mr. kids, and an inebriated fools is really what's crazy, actually. Well, you got it wrong. I'm not. You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Even after that chilling tragedy, oh, I forgot those two chills together. Back to them. Effortlessly. Other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. The family itself is a huge, perfect building, like. A living oh, idol. Such a scary kitchen. How are you liking it so Each far? Member of the family sees Have you played a lot so far or just like a little bit? The divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. This is their uh well, Hoya versus other game. Perhaps that's why uh, Honkai Star Rail. They have like some similarities, so but long. different at the core the three hours that's limits. exciting and so does have you pulled for any characters yet or anything fun like that that doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make just pointing out the facts mr yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than i do why do you say that miss acheron the beautiful dream is crumbling but not because of a particular eon a particular faction or a particular visitor that's collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, and only ease and pleasure prevail, they draw closer and closer to necrosis. Regardless of the perceived bliss, Chiori? death blooms. She's pretty fun, although actually. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. Yeah, there's a lot of big things happening in the end, again in the, the upcoming weeks. people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure, yeah, sure you've gained a lot from this trip, uh, Miss. Do you ever have any questions? Oh, are you? Lag Jack, and thank you so much for following. I'm sorry, I didn't see that. Of course. Um, wait until 45 to spend those fragile resins. Don't farm for artifacts yet. Also, you're gonna wanna. Um, you're gonna wanna mm. hold on and Don't farm other me. things. It's just a habit. Going to Except events like in the past. Character talents and weapon ascension stuff, and character ascension as well. Forgetful. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. <laughs> that should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Panacone. Ask away. The moment of daybreak. I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape song and dance stand Burr's many cute. imagination factories. He's like a geo slash Workers defense create all buffer. kinds of whimsical awesome. works day in and day out in their dreams. Then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say oh, it was the Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. 
There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. The perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. Gilded Hour. It's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress-like financial city. The Thank economic you, heart of the landscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Name. Funding blood that is made from mummy everywhere on Penacone. Pesci. It's quite sad, Everyone though. there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people. I feel like I should make a beginner tips video. To work in the I know every. Hour. I feel like every Genshin player makes that I've video, never but met like, anyone I could who so do talk. that. Cause I'm a genius. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people a hurrying genius. like the wind through the jungle of steel, only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they've earned into the bank's vault. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left. I witnessed a well-dressed Papeshi person plummet the from man the sky. man who can. Welcome, around him follow. continued on their way, unfazed. I forgot we had that pin, Darcy. I hear the blue hour is very romantic. Oh. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide, anchored along the Sea of Dreams. Where soft music and dancing persists endlessly every night. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for goes a long-hearted lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within a time that stood still. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas... Her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Finally, she suggested we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, we retreated to the beach. Damn. The dreamscape of chic luxury and what are you consumerism, crocheting? the moment of dusk. My companions have been there too. Then you all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering no, I meant like, what are you making? Dust and betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price. And everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there, who was preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid, under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times, and I participated in his thirteenth. That was the grandest banquet I had ever attended. But never again did anyone cast another glance at him. This time around, there were no successful bids for him. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Panacone wasn't like this a long time ago, nor should it be. I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of the Stivities, watched the tides of night rise and fall, when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. If you're getting out like, you know, you don't I need Hu Tao and vice versa. Beautiful dream. You can, of course, try and get them both, but they're, prob there they're probably just going to be similar priority PS everything. units. Perhaps. I'm assuming... But if this is indeed the world that people desire... If this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, should we still seek to change it? Uh, it's like I have Yoimiya, so I never pulled for Hu Tao. Miss it's like Barla Kino because I'm a simp. Now but it's that's my turn story. to share a story with you. Story time! Everyone sit and listen. 
Hold hands. There was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. It's called delusional, Darcy. And since that moment, the giant stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, the noises in the background forever and left. lost their You just hear, whew, like cartoon falling. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the wishes of those people who wished not to awaken that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. And yet, you stand here right now, which also means that man failed. Because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. And that man, he was never a failure. Like everyone in that world, he etched the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legend, soaring towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. The story of Icarus makes me very sad. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that, countless others would surpass him. Soaring to even greater heights. Hi, Jay. A fitting the metaphor. Timer in the ascension for quest you're struggling with for spirit. Genshin or Star Rail. Thank you, Mr. Yang. I know what you wish to confirm. The universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. I too have embarked on journeys encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine. So I will tell you, even if not completely similar, the story you just told, it overlaps with my past, and within that abyssal dream, hmm. I ended that man's life. Alone. Oh, wow. I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicions. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, Exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway oh, ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, spread, attempting spread, to spread touch its wings. ceiling. All because the sun was there. Then, what if the last bird finally <laughs> soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness? Then why, exactly, 
Do we even walk towards the light? What is this voice actor stream as well? Go oh, back to this. The phone is ringing. The phone will be right there. Long time no see. Having fun on Panacone? Acheron. Uh. This voice. It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? Though I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. My bullets will find you. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Beto is imposter. literally the voice actor for Beto Allegra Clark. She, she is gave my, my way idol. to someone who's like, tracking Acheron too. Because she is. Who are you? The voice actor for Beto. I've cosplayed uh, Beto. Uh, did I make you guys a mistake? I love Beto. <laughs> She's the uh, first actress for Acheron, who I also I'm love. The Garden of Recollections memory and keeper. she's a J-Hope bias. <laughs> Taste. Taste. She's an icon. TikTok Live's Jolly not working. Like. Hot Dog, I feel like you just have problems you with your computer. Hi, Pear Guy. Never mind. Locha, hopefully it's soon. Fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy I mean, Ranger? Who's going to tell her no? I feel like she could do whatever she wanted. People just kind of have to say yes. She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell oh, me, me, what's Acheron's deal? Hmm. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. <sighs> well, <laughs> I quiet. I'll be on Penacone soon. Uh, memo keeper, go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak. I think he is. Or even better, and I'll raise Rojo? a glass to you. That lady's past. <laughs> Nobody knows. But if all you want is a simple answer, sure, you best get a chair and take a seat. That woman named Acheron is an emanator who should not exist. Ooh. <laughs> he should snap you Dr. Ishio's neck. Pale. Or is that also part of your act? I'd kill him. I mean, a snake ass. <sighs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I'd actually kill him. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. So, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. <laughs> my, what an honor. Hey, and uh, we're just doing the quest still. Yes, so. and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment it's Department would love good. to Although be I'm notified really of your I death. I never liked Dr. Ishii, but now I'm really mad but at let's him. let's not forget, you won't so. be seeing them because I'm the manager of this task. <laughs> Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Well, my conversation with Sunday I don't convinced think he's fine. me that there's a he's traitor annoying. in the family. Like genuinely, I mean, obviously he's not a real person, but like personality so over everything. I he's irritating, so I don't like him. In motion. I don't think he's attractive. I it's even annoying. managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. Now I'm only one step away mm -hmm. from victory. Not a fan. 
Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. I don't think Sunday's You've forgotten, though. Doctor. You betrayed me. Like, he has a me. reason to, like, be, like, Go. grilling and, like, using a Do what you must. Like, he has a whole other motive. Like, his sister died. He has a whole, like, motive and everything. Surrounding like, Dr. Ratio is just, what like, you desired, eh. Haven't you? That's true, but what's your plan? Research, like, Did you conceal you research an yourself, orbital dumbass? support beacon in that gift money bag? Well, who knows? Maybe that's why I'm handing out cash, even when I'm about to bite the dust. You are indeed a gambler. An insane one, at that. Well, maybe I am. Who knows? <sighs> Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. What's this? Medical advice? Oh. He's gone. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Asking me to solve a case without giving a single clue. How typical of you. Wing-headed scoundrel. Wing-headed is also crazy. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway. <laughs> Why do I keep bolding random it's words? Just as I guessed it would be. As for <sighs> now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall evenly on everyone. Hey, girl. Would you be willing to support my performance? And keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Sure thing. Wow, how fabulous! But why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well... He's trying to frame you, you girlfriend! See, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. Ain't no, ain't no thing. If you ever get the chance, please, feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Oh, death? That's a pretty scary topic. I'm listening, Garcia. I'm listening. It doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. Don't yell me. I promise. I'm listening. Just please. I'll be two seconds. Oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting ghost stories in Panacone. <laughs> As you know, the more <laughs> chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe you could help me out. Well, it's Shame he didn't ask Darcy to gossip, help because she would do it already asked. It's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the reality hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. <gasps> oh my god, maybe Robin's not dead. She's just in a coma sort of forever. Coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Oh. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she pay protect us. Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, the customer ended up waking up in the end. Unfortunately? Wait. I can feel something inside my head. I thought he was going to say inside me, and I was like, is it Darcy? Sorry. Movie critic. Ugh. Oh. The world has truly lost its way. Chad, bro. His name's Chad, bro, guys. You. Wait. I get it now. This is some sort of prank show, right? You what? must have some cameras set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? Hi, Inza, how are you? You youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. This is like the most sane Once boomer enough, response to anything. A truly great show never comes easy. 
Oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? This old uh, man's looking right in the eye every breath. Another fearless youngster looking for death, huh? Well, let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one who's ever thought of that idea. Yeah, that's great. Now tell me where you can know. Death? Not even remotely he spit? innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Oh, but what a disappointment. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all you see are blurry glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. Is that all? <laughs> yeah, what else can you expect? Don't uh -huh. put too much stock in the Penacone movie industry. They even call this I did see Boot Hill. Breaking art. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. Can you believe it? Which one's Boot Hill <laughs> what again? A joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. <laughs> Which one's Boot Hill? I hope you have a wonderful day. Also, you guys, I have sushi. A monster covered in eyes. No, but I I don't the like name the sounds familiar, but I don't remember which one he is. But buildings and lights. Like I'm being dead ass. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Well, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Take Sorry. care, my friend. If you ever find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. He's the cowboy? Oh. <sighs> Mud soaked syrup? You don't look good, my friend. If you need assistance, I can contact the hotel and have them wake you up. Water. Peacefully. And then I got some coffee and a thing. <laughs> that won't be necessary. And I have I some have sushi some next to me. Business to attend to. But thank you. Darcy, all the same. I just put the cup down. All right then. If you ever need help. Don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually. Power, isn't it fun? It's I a good game. A favor. I'm As a coffee the gal. Most outstanding hound. I love in coffee. Penicone, have you come across any <laughs> stowaways recently? I thought we were asking about death. Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Penicone? We've never had anything like that before. Um, that's a lie, but okay. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work, then. Uh, what was I even thinking? Hey, Power, thank you so much for the roses. I Family appreciate that. Would never share intel with the IPC. <laughs> uh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining the family? Uh, darn it. <laughs> now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. I had uh, to. No, you can't. There's a there's a cooldown and a limit per person per stream. To drown a thousand sorrows, let so. worries leave. <laughs> I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Oh. <laughs> you. That's just another Drake video. Then that's my bad. I'm sorry. To me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous soul in this place. <laughs> or are you just pitying me? Well. It really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. Wait, so Soul Glad's soda alcohol, I'm confused. After all. <laughs> or it's like a hallucinogenic? You really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. Hi, it's Tori. How are so you? good for your health. Oh, he's judging. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of Soul Glad. <laughs> <laughs> the devil of soul glad? What does that mean? Care to well. elaborate? <laughs> what kind of tea you're drinking, Inza? Yeah. <laughs> it's a seahorse with a long neck. <laughs> they say. Is that meant to be calming? To what are the health people? benefits? I don't really drink tea. Especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> So should I get drunk and then I'll find death? Mm, well, yes, <laughs> yes actually. Funny indeed. 
Thank you. <laughs> he didn't think he was too funny. <sighs> not enough credits I'm not gonna interrogate the child. You wanna talk to me? Sure, but nothing too sensitive, okay? That's supposed to mean. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. But to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. So, are you trying to be the prince from the tale? Handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? She has something on her head. <laughs> I'm flattered. I like I'm sushi no for prince. And I, was I just thought before. these gems would I have help you speak. Ginger. No, I mean, so, as an investigative reporter, maybe you've heard something about death. Uh, this is just too not another avocado. curious soul. I see. I have one earlier. Well, Hi. that was actually the topic I was most into when I entered the industry. But my different. boss shut it down. Hi, Pinguinos. Well, How are you? Talk you out of it? Well, she simply said covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third rate tabloid. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by nightmare ghosts isn't exactly professional material. Mm, guess she's got a point. Long day at work. Thank you for sharing. Just regular old water. <laughs> he needs to stop exhaling in my ear. I don't like that sound. That's what Are I'm you saying. Wanting to talk to me? Hot boy summer. Oh, uh, checking out something behind me. Not for me. <clears throat> I've been eating this. A gift for me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. You know, guys. The other day, I put a lot of wasabi real? on my breakfast sandwich Someone for no reason other than the fact that gift. I could. Not for my parents, but for me. And um, it Thank hurt you. with every Thank bite. So much. I don't know why I did it. No, it's not much. I just want to ask you something. But I still ate it anyways. <sighs> I knew it. Which is like what's on your that? mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Literally, no one cares about your mom or dad, by the way, um, buddy. Neither. Like, look at me in my face when I say I do not. Give I a just fuck. wanted I'm sorry, to I know if be swearing. you've it's never in heard about death in the dreamscape. Oh. You sound just like my father. Always warning me about danger, even in dreams. Oh, this kid has mommy He's issues for days. He's an so his dream entry methods are different from us organics. Can't count on him to protect me his if dad's something a robot? does go haywire. Interesting. Funny, right now, I'm still under his protection. <laughs> How ironic. Hey, stay positive. Gold will always shine one day, right? What does that mean? Hmm. The devil of soul glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this sweet dream granted by the. Oh, fuck! I've collected no clues. That's what he was gonna say. I didn't mean to cut him off. My bad. Who's this little twerp? Remember what I said? You Sigonians are better off hiding in the sewers. Uh oh. Look at you. She's back. Around and sticking your nose everywhere. <laughs> Is the smell of death so enticing, my fine fellow? Does she not know why we're looking for it? <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. I should have guessed it. You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? Well, that event already happened. Huh. I heard you got caught by the family. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward. Am I the know? mute? And what did you no, do? I have coffee. Ew, coffee and sushi. Yeah, I don't even care anymore. Up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. How are all my sparkle mean? havers feeling? I'm not one of y'all. You know better than I do. Who I watched up. the little songbird that couldn't sing perish right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. 
I thought he like watched that. I thought he like no, came in. I mean, what did you mean by? Wait, did he see her die, or did he just like see the aftermath? Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Oh, <laughs> nice. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because. Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? Something like that. Oh? Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. The more pathetic I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing Fool's around. gold. So, now that I've drawn That's you thing. out, will you reward me with an answer for my efforts? Yes, Why should I help you? you? Use me from the dead. Don't you want to see Panacone descend into <laughs> chaos? <laughs> well, I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Do you know Back that song? Then, I love you. Ask me to find a mute. Let me know. You know that song. Speak up. Did you really mean Robin? No, I feel like he means something else. Hmm. He, she, whatever. And what if I say no? Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you, but what difference would it make? <laughs> Let me tell you something. There were two mutes. But one is dead now, and the other, though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. I don't get it. Now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. It's a clocky? No, <laughs> I'm kidding. Right I'm now, kidding. there are only two things missing from my grasp. Wait, do y'all know who? Did y'all figure it out or no? And the means to expose it. <laughs> How impressive! That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. Like who they're talking about? Who's the second mute? Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence, and that's enough for me. As for the answers to my questions, I'll find them within seventeen. No. You did. 16 system hours. Oh, I didn't figure it out. Oh, really? It's a he? Only 16 system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Here you go. This is my precious, mutually assured distraction button. And I have one just like it. When either of us presses it, the other and the whole of Panacone will go up in smoke. Okay. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penacony, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. That's where the IPC excels, right? I forgot how nuts she is. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care too. Oh, a deadly button, huh? <laughs> well, I guess the family didn't take your threat seriously at all. Otherwise, how on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'll have to decline your offer. Who knows if your little gadget will actually. Who is the other mute friend? By the way, I Don't have no plans like, to search mm. for the other mute friend you speak of. But it's good to hear that he's still here in Panacone. Am I stupid? I'll handle the rest myself. Hi, Jamesy. How are I'll you? I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. <laughs> and at the climax... James, come here. The walls I need to talk will to you for a crumble. Second. Come here. People come will outside. wake up. And those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. I got more... When that time comes... Sushi. Go ahead. I put a lot of wasabi Press on it. I'm sorry. Button. Light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Catch you later, fool. <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, 
If that happens, I'll stay true to my word. Just don't let me down now, okay? She's gonna blow this whole place up. Sorry, I'll need my glasses. It's hard to see. Mm. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! He's naked. So, number 35. You're back. Oh, like your new discovered. lucky charm. Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sigonian hound. Hound is a little bit nuts, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> the guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. But I figured you must have had good luck, so I bought you. From now on, you and your good luck are my assets. <laughs> oh, you can are do that here? Clear? On people? That's... Your this first is America Corps, actually. Wow, never simple. mind. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Go. No, yeah, I guess you're right. Play a game with them. <laughs> you came out a alive game? after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. That's crazy. You're insane. Well, yes. <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. Aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous oh, brats like you. Imagine calling a slave self-righteous. That's really crazy. Why? You look like... good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. Uh, how much did you spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay? for me huh you really want to know hmm well it was 60 tanba no more no less is that a lot of money doesn't seem like it i'll take my chances 30 tanba if i come back alive you'll give me 30 tanba deal <laughs> are you trying to strike a bet with me oh <laughs> you've got some guts yeah, sorry, but, uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Wow. It's all or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky hat. Here's to you, sober one, with this glass of a dream within a dream. Does everyone get the same one to or different? Our forebears who dug their own grave. <laughs> well done, Gallagher. <gasps> well, You're I got a pretty one then. <laughs> so, are you satisfied? No. Oh, the flavors! They're way more sophisticated than Soul Glad. The richness and layers of these flavors are a masterpiece. Why am I doing this? Especially with the adjuncts. I, I'm not oh, entirely Oops. sure what it all means. Maybe Mr. Gallagher can shed Maybe some the light on the character it. We yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, well, if it's you're so random. Like, what? Even Gallagher. Like, I don't really know him like that either. I don't care what drink he's making me. I'm the glad I got my little straw. Is pretty straightforward. My star straw. Just I'm glad I'm able to eat my sushi with a spoon. But like, that's it. You know. Like. Huh. Nothing more. Does this true taste have anything to do with that, Mikhail? Yeah, that name does sound familiar. When you got knocked out by that masked fool girl, I think I heard someone calling that well, that's name. That's true. Do you remember? <sighs> I was right about you. You guys seem to know quite a bit. And now there's no reason to hide anything from you anymore. Let's dig deeper into the case. And of course, I'll tell I you the story I can't get comfortable. I'm being serious. I'm so uncomfortable. 
All right. Ugh. Let's start with what we know based on the clues the family has. It seems that Firefly isn't a local or an invited guest. In other words, she's a stowaway. Yeah, we knew that. She managed to fool me at first. My age must be getting the best of me. But here on the planet of festivities, stowaways are a common sight. You're bound to run into one sooner or later. After the incident, the hounds wasted no time searching for that girl in both the dreamscape and reality. And they found nothing, I'm assuming? But here's the thing. We only received bad news. And the tricky is kind at that. She simply vanished. Leaving no trace in the dreamscape or reality. Oh. As if she had never come to Penaconi at all. That is really weird. Huh? Does that mean... That's impossible. The problem now is not that she's dead, but that it's as if she had never existed in the first place. Oh, that's... Let me be frank. This case, actually, is unlike anything the Bloodhound family has dealt with before. Dealt with before? So, death does happen in Panacone, if I understand correctly. You've witnessed it, so there's no need to hide. Even the shiniest city has its dark side. We're all adults here. Surely I don't need to explain too much to you. Confronting the family based on that alone would be naive. Death may occur in sweet dreams. So what? Such events are highly unlikely and only affect a tiny number of people. If you really want to delve deeper into this case, you need to understand the true problem with the family. I guess it's time to tell the story of that Mikhail. You're very perceptive. The Astral Express has received that music box too, right? Oh, I already forgot about that guy. Do you know the secrets it holds? There's a message. Witness the impossible in the realm of dreams. Find the legacy of the Watchmaker, father of Penacone. And thus the answer to the question... Why does life slumber? Uh, it's tomorrow. <laughs> well, it's, it's wording. Sunday, but I'm doing stuff tomorrow. Hey, why are you laughing? Wait, did you write it? How are you though, it's Tim? quite poetic. No, but I'm the officer in charge of this case. I know. Um, how could I not know? I wish I could hang out with you tomorrow instead. I'm sure you I'm must sad. have noticed that this to message that. didn't come from the family. You might have even guessed that the relationship between the family and the watchmaker isn't as close as it Being seems. Being sushi with a spoon. That's just our speculation. Actually, it's hard to believe that the father... Wait, Tam, you said you just skipped... Like, did you skip this part? Because Tam said he just only did the adventuring point of view, which I didn't know was possible. Absolutely correct. The family has considered the watchmaker an enemy for a long time. But the hounds haven't been able to track him down, as he seems to be living only in the characters and stories he created. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever wondered why the family allowed the Watchmaker to send out such a ridiculous message to the outside world, inviting you here and causing chaos? I'm assuming because they can't stop him? So you want to seize this opportunity to expose the Watchmaker? Well... Now I don't you know. understand just why the Oak family authorized the nameless to assist in the investigation, Tam, come here. but kept you in the dark, right? Because the Watchmaker is not the legend of the land of the dreams at all. He's the most shameful stain in the history of Penacone. Oh, wow. And he's the root cause of all the anomalies in the dreamscape. You don't get it? Well, I mean, Mikhail, the betrayer of the family, he's the watchmaker. Fun. Tam, where do you go? Tam, Timmy, Timmy, Tam, 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 Here Tam, Tam. Clock Studios theme park. <gasps> oh, wait, no, I'm excited. I want to go to roller coaster. Wait, aren't we supposed to be discussing the watchmaker? I would have expected you to take us to maybe a library or an archive room of sorts but an amusement park the culture of a city reflects its been. history yeah. in the most authentic way to you it's a fun place but to me it's a prison for the planet's past 
You know that Penacone used to be the IPC's prison planet, right? All the prisoners were brought here, helping the Garden of Recollection salvage the leaking memoria from the macro void. The prolonged exposure to high concentrations of memoria caused a unique phenomenon. The dreams of countless prisoners intersected and overlapped, and people started meeting each other in their dreams, living lives that were almost identical to reality. But everything has a price, and sweet dreams are no exception. In the end, the dream world was unable to alleviate the suffering of prisoners in reality. One of the prisoners broke free from the IPC shackles and fought for freedom. He is Hanu, the great leader of Dreamville, the great peacemaker, and the faithful companion of the underdogs. Ain't he the little guy we run around with? History is always written by the winners. However, it's undeniable that Clocky is an animation that Chicken, draws hello, from Pony's actual history. These characters not only exist in Dreamville, but also in the distant past. Once you realize this, you'll understand why we're here. I wonder. <laughs> so many of them. I've never seen anything. For the like boss, should I use this team or no? Should I swap out? Suspects. We don't need to go in. We don't want to draw any unwanted attention inside. We can just talk here. Oh, good. Let's find a quiet spot and continue our conversation. I've never played Dungeons and Dragons. The view here is great, right? We can see everything from feet here. And feet. Including Clocky. Hi, Clocky. If all the I love characters Clocky. in the animation are based on characters in reality, then Clocky's counterpart is definitely. I'm trying the to get cozy. Maker. I'm so uncomfortable. My body's like animation, sore. He's Hanu's partner and one of the <laughs> founders of Dreamville. Does that mean the watchmaker was personally involved in that war and sided with Asdana? It was a monumental war for freedom. Hanunu fought alongside a motley crew of masked fools. Jordan's just the world's biggest Ron May fan, considering he doesn't play the game. Morning actors, omen vanguards, even visitors from beyond the sky. In the end, they emerged victorious. Among them was the person who would eventually be known as the Watchmaker. Hell yeah. But if you do the math, doesn't that mean the Watchmaker was around for several centuries? I'm not sure, but Mikhail was already the Watchmaker when I met him. So maybe he inherited the title. No, Jordan's... How old are you <laughs> he doesn't play now, Mr. Around. Officer. I'm 13. What? Uh, no way. Not even close. Hanunu freed the frontier prison, but peace still eluded him. With limited okay. resources, threats from the outside world, <sighs> and internal conflicts between major prison districts, the future of Ostana was uncertain. It wasn't until the Watchmaker approached the family with the idea of turning the prison into the planet of festivities that Penacone finally gained its name and glory. Thus, he became known as the father of Penacone. But didn't you say the Watchmaker betrayed the family? And you said you were his companion, so that means you... No. I'm not his companion. But rather one of his many children. But I am indeed a traitor. Not to the family. But to... Is he t Jordan, are you yeah. talking about the Kafka team? What did you do? Ron May, Mommy One, <sighs> Mommy Two, and the other person. That's crazy. <laughs> and that's the worst betrayal of all. <laughs> Just like I'm actually you, dead. I had that's close bad funny. We dedicated ourselves to Penacone. But the Oak family, they set us up. Mikhail was too old to protect his children anymore. So we left the family to find our own path. We were branded traitors of the Harmony, even though the true traitors were someone else, but we failed. Too much time had passed, and the land of the dreams had become deeply corrupted. After countless fruitless pursuits, Ooh, I gave up. 
like a lost dog. The family accepted me and made me an officer, supposedly as a form of forgiveness. But it was actually a punishment. Since then, I've been completely cut off from my partners and my past. As for Mikhail, Man. I heard he died in obscurity. What do you in a mean? place where no one could find him. That's when I realized <laughs> that the Penacone I once knew would never return. We're truly sorry for what happened. But this is not the end of the story, right? Nope. Hmm. Apparently, someone has inherited the title of the Watchmaker and has been secretly working against the family all this time. Oh. And it's a venturing. No, I'm kidding. Well, I have no idea. that's one way to look at it. However, only one member has truly inherited the Watchmaker's title. Unfortunately, after all these years, I don't know why I'm so sleepy. I have no idea who that person is, or if they're even real. She already showed up in this story. That was or last quest, or like lost the interlude soul quest. haunting the dreams. So, do you understand why I'm spilling all this info? Because I believe the girl's death must be connected to the Watchmaker's legacy. We will find the answers we are seeking. If it really is Mikhail's ghost, I want to meet him. If only for the last time. For those who despise me could form a line from here all the way to the entrance of the hotel. But those willing to look me in the eye and hear me out? Let's just say, there won't be many. I've told you all I know is a sign of gratitude. Thank you for listening to this old dog. Bark and all. Hmm? Uh, something just happened at the theme park. Uh, now, if you'll excuse me, good luck to all of you. How ironic. What's so different between the stowaways rejected by Penacone today and the dream seekers once hailed as pioneers several amber eras ago? <sighs> Gallagher does have a troubled past, it seems. While Firefly's whereabouts remain a mystery, Ugh. his stories shed light on our suspicions about the true identity of the Watchmaker, his connection to the family, and the power struggles hidden behind sweet dreams and death. Uh, you're really into Clocky, huh? He's just a fictional character. Take Not it back. Person. Take it back. He's real to me. Speaking of which, that Clocky who only reveals himself to you is quite intriguing. It's a shame we've never met him since He's then. He's my friend. <sighs> that lines up with what we've gathered so far. Firefly got involved in this mess because of the legacy. And now we're sure that Aventurine's accusations Hi Sarah, how are against you? Acheron are baseless. Yeah, he is. He's real to me. Exactly. Gallagher suggests that the real traitor is someone else. Probably within the Oak family. Not my problem. Now that we've confirmed a lot of our suspicions, well, thank you for let's Lord. take a moment to think about the clues we have. Woo! Send a message to Wells Excuse me. <laughs> and see how things are going on his end. Oh my god, Welt and Akron are just like having a picnic. Hey King, miss you. Add your name. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome. How are you? Okay. Akron's point of view, hell yeah. Are your companions worried about you? Oh, they're just checking up on me. Let's get in and get out. Seems they've made some progress. Everyone, victory, Royal. Looks yeah, like we're about to enter the depths of Doomlight Pavilion. Ten kills on the board it's been right a now. Ride. Just touched down in almost too smooth for a heavily guarded Tomato mansion. Town. My Let's friends see if down. there's Everybody anyone waiting to greet us. Something feels off. A grand mansion like this and not a butler or servant in sight. Hi, Shimmy. Could it be due to the disruption? You're the best, Shimmy. Emergency? How are you today? This door is open. Looks like we'll have to investigate ourselves. 
Let's proceed with caution. Just one moment. Light. I've made myself less noticeable. The crew can explain their presence as authorized by the family, but I can't come up with any excuses for being here. I see. What an interesting <sighs> technique. Stream four. Two sets of Looks like outsiders might have passed through here not long ago. Well, there aren't any people in this mansion. They've set up quite a few mimetic guards to patrol this place. Oops, that guy looks like a boss. That was a bit overkill. Look, uh, Synergy Morning, thank you so much for the follow. I appreciate that. A uh, note. Looks like instructions from the butler for the other servants. Was Seems that like a better use of the alt, Darcy? I know the, the like, gate row was what was over. Before Robin's death. It must have been a big project to require that much manpower. The Charmin I'm so sorry, I don't perhaps. know why I'm so tired. I slept so much yesterday. But no matter what their main priorities or last are, night, I got like eight hours, which is a lot for me. left at the mansion, right? So you're I saying... I waited until after he went, and then I went. deliberately cleared the place out. I'm just yeah, uncomfy. I don't know why. I don't know why. No one here either. Just since no one's around to entertain us, let's make ourselves at home. So Robin knew there was a traitor, which is probably why she got got. Huh. As soon as I and the rest of the crew Yikes. arrived in Penacone, Mr. Sunday and Robin showed up to greet us. I remember hearing something unusual in her voice. Robin Oops. believed it was because the harmony had been tampered with somehow. But as far as I know, there aren't many entities capable of interfering with the power of paths. Meaning? If there really is a traitor within the family, that person must hold a high position or possess unimaginable strength. That would explain Excuse why me. Mr. Sunday has been having such difficulty in catching the traitor. Because it's someone over his head? This light cone <gasps> is securely guarded. It must hold some important Let's memories. take it. According to Robin's interview, despite having performed on so many oh, wait, my last piece stages, of sushi, her forgot about favorite it there. Just sitting performance there. was Sad. a All pretend along. show she put on way too much wasabi on it when they were just kids. I wonder how their relationship is now. Growing up brings gains, but... Also, Gains. Losses. Yeah, time is a way of smoothing things out. The beautiful dreams of youth will eventually fade away. That's depressing. All right, let's move on. Are these like all logs of like the of deaths, different hits? Okay, right, so this is him writing out all the deaths and trying to find like a correlation, I guess. Hmm. The information about Robin. Firefly and the other victims. I don't see any commonalities among them. I was supposed to say none of them. The were right. Death does seem to be targeting random victims. Hmm. And based on Sunday's notes, he's no stranger. Is to someone death. we already know death? He's just surprised it that it has resurfaced. Mr. Sunday has done some serious research Is on his everyone in the family. This traitor must have been causing trouble for the family for a long time. They all seem to be insiders. Oh, but here. I haven't met any of them. Huh? Wait, these characteristics. What is it? No, nothing. Maybe I'm just overthinking things. However, if this traitor really exists, could they be responsible for Firefly and Robin's deaths? It seems neither the Dream Master of Penacone nor this old Odie is happy I wanted to reread the other one. recent performance. Something scared Agron, but I don't know what. I'm not scared, but startled her or whatever. Instead, they're Shock more her. concerned about the Charmony Festival and the Watchmaker. Maybe the other family heads don't think death is a big deal. One what? thing's for sure. There's a lot of internal conflict within the family. I love the way she talks. Everybody her voice has is so their cool. Own agenda. That's all for now. Nothing more noteworthy. Before coming here, I had I all sorts of scenarios in my head about dealing with the family. I did not expect an empty mansion. Watch out. 
Someone's approaching. Hide under the table, quick. I don't think trespassing on forbidden areas is the way to be a guest, Mr. Yang. And... Acheron? The Galaxy Ranger? Our apologies, Mr. Sunday. Oh, girl. Came to I thought you said Acheron. My bad. No, adventuring talk's annoying, yeah. I hope you can forgive us. But even if there's no one to greet you, you should wait for the host. Don't you agree? No, I should go by myself, Even and the host should point with four fingers facing Ranger. this. As far as I know, the crew has officially accepted the family's commission. So coming here will be unnecessary for you. On the contrary, that's exactly why I'm here. <laughs> to ask you about the case and gather more information. We don't want any loose ends. Mm -hmm. Well, since you've come with goodwill, I have no reason I think to show you smug. the door. Rest assured, he hasn't figured out that we went through those documents. Well, say it louder and he might. While the truth remains a mystery, I'm getting close to it. I assure you that the traitor will soon pay the price. Let's hope justice will prevail soon. I'm dying. I have a question for you, if you don't mind. How did the family come to the conclusion that the murderer was within the family? With all due respect, it's in the IPC's interest to wreak havoc before the Charmony Festival, and the family has every reason to suspect the IPC's involvement. Well, <sighs> other family heads share the same suspicions as you, but in my opinion, the true murderer would never have drawn as much attention as that ambassador did. Not to mention, I personally shackled him a while ago. However, I'll give you a suggestion regarding your suspicions, Mr. Yang. You should be more cautious of Aventurine. While the wicked can't break through high walls, they can plunge their evil dagger into the heart of the righteous. He's a businessman, not some philanthropist. But right now, he's out there handing out his wealth on the streets. And he went to the Clock Studios theme park all by himself. Who knows what kind of scheme he's cooking up. Let him cook! While the family is dedicated to keeping our guests safe. Those are my last it words. Good night, guys. It might be wise for you to stay alert. You never know what unexpected troubles could arise. Get that colon three face away from me this instance, bro. According to a peer point Can't even do it. tip, there was a major breakthrough in the shocking Ejhazio Aventurine case. Huh? The suspect has been arrested. This fraud case has been linked to many departments within the Interastral Peace Corporation and the Intelligentsia Guild, causing a large drain in manpower and resources. Hey, listen, I love Sunday just as much IPC as the next girl. A massive loss. Unless the next girl is Darcy. She the does case's not like main it. suspect originates from Sigonia 4 and is one of the survivors of the second Katika Ab oh, my goodness. event who does not carry an interstellar refugee I need to like travel sit like, like my back hurts. As per Strategic Investment Department head Diamond Sentiments, the IPC oh, oh, oh. has appropriately relocated the suspect. I need to, st I need to lay on the floor, of the like on the wooden floor. And will continue floor. to conduct further investigations I can't. as to the motive of the suspect. <gasps> my head's at died. Help. <gasps> Mother, what no! Wait! Do they shine I want to listen to the pretty lady talk. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. Ooh, okay. Well, if they did, I'd sell them in a heartbeat. Oh, wow, that's... okay. You don't know how many people long for your eyes to be closed forever. As a servant, you should not resist your master. Yet, you went and killed that man anyway. You know, Tam actually sent me this picture and she said, he said, no you look like her, or you're built like her, or something like that. And I was like, okay, I'm a Perhaps victim. You ought to represent yourself. Not difficult, but definitely pointless. Mm -mm. You're pretty <sighs> confident on your eloquence. Did you also think sure. no, that I'm dead. I'm to the intelligence on my back? <laughs> so sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm so weary today. You wanted the perfect construction Tam. material. <laughs> All I did was offer a possibility. It was just a small wager. That's crazy. If your luck holds out, the IPC will dig something up from the golden sands of Ejihazo. 
Maybe even the Sand King's remains. Pity your luck has run out. Uh oh. I'll admit that. What I'm more curious about, though, is why such a grand scheme failed to benefit anyone in the end, including the perpetrator himself. Damn, you're not. Oh, madam, I already have what I want. Then let's talk about the second gamble. Oh, did I? Tell me. I didn't mean to. What are you prepared to wager this time? My life. I was just about to say my life, but I didn't. I, I be annoying, bet but I you won't said it. send me to the gallows. Hmm. What do you want then? I want your Lenore to meet with me. I have something to say. And then what? I want cash. Oh. <laughs> it can't be that simple, can it? It is that simple. Thirty tonbas. The remainder of my market value. Thirty tonbas. No more. No less. With this money, I'll climb to even greater heights than you. Grasp even more riches than you. <laughs> I wager you won't give me I don't love him. Interesting. This is pretty cool. A pity Diamond won't see you. I respect no him. Gets to see him. From here on out, I, of course I love am Sunday. Diamond's representative. And I will decide on his behalf. You're wrong. 30 Tonbas. He'll give you that. And much more than that. Wealth. Status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want. I love Sunday, of course. Don't want. I love his stupid the little chicken shop. wings. That's my A chicken wing man right there. You leave him alone. Unfortunately, destined to be buried in the dirt. You, though, you deserve to live, to create even more wealth for us. Go, pick the clothes you like. He chose that outfit himself. Desired identity. Of course he did. And then, <laughs> use them well, child. Maybe if May I sit like this. Never suffer failure. Life is. Like a long term investment. Life is like a box of chocolates. Those who choose correctly, you never know what you're gonna get. Things, reach the correct outcomes, and show the world their value. People can't always make the right choices in their lives. But luck has always been on my side. I've never lost. Is it because Gyathra blesses me? Well, if that's the case, she must also be looking upon me right now. No one's got this seems like a bitch, Loki. Not the nicest. My success is inevitable. But... What then? <laughs> Even if I overcome this difficult trial... What would come next? <laughs> what awaits me after this glorious gamble? An even more glorious one? Will I return triumphant with unending riches after countless successes, or will I encounter failure? Never to return. I'm pretty sure you already have some idea. Lowly. Who said that? Sound like he said it. What? 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 Am I dreaming? Or have I gone completely insane? Well, yes. Perhaps both. I've forgotten me already. You were strapped to that electric chair by a mannequin warlord. Who was it that gave you the idea? Fine. I may be crazy, 
but I'm not stupid. Get out of my head, newborn of the Harmony. <laughs> the Harmony? Oh, don't play the fool. It's not the first time we've met. No What's happening? To be so I'm gonna be so honest, I'm very confused. I'm you, and perhaps even more aware of yourself than you. Of what exactly you want. You're dying. And you still want to drag a bunch of unfortunate fools You're with dying. You hmm. That is too much. That's actually mad funny. So, mm, dying, stupid? A grand unveil. You really think you can pull it off? I say press the button. Just take everybody down. Why not? Right? Well, you may have fooled everyone, but you can't fool yourself. This really does sound like a Mori music. Where it's like dreamy, but also ominous and space like. This is so Amori. That's a compliment, by the way, because I love Amori like a lot. The mu music in the game is so phenomenal. <laughs> what exactly are you? I'm you, but gayer. Most people in this world spend their I'm sorry. lives just to reach one outcome. What it? Kakabasha, I am your future. I. First, I'm hearing things, and Lucky. now I'm seeing them. <laughs> Great. Am I going to be elevated into the Harmony's Emanator next? Head to the control oh. stage of the. Why park. are there no guests here? Just a Pepeshi? No. A child. There's only one thing worse than a... I thought miners weren't allowed in Golden Hour. Hey, kid. You okay? Are you lost? What's wrong, mister? What the know. hell? <sighs> Your... Eyes... Impossible. Who are you? They're pretty, aren't they? Sis said they're a gift from Mama Funga. Colorful eyes are said to bring good luck. Uh, mister, you have pretty eyes too. Beautiful. This reminds me of that one picture of Miley Cyrus. Are, are you alone? Where are your parents? They're in that amusement park. Papa and Mama went in first. I'm just about to go look for them. I have to go. Goodbye, mister. Hope you have a good time, too. Those eyes. Damn, he's quick! It's Mama Funga. No, no, it... It can't... There aren't any Aftons left. Then they're not. It's you, babe. Oh, I feel really bad for him now. Papa! Mama! Wait for me! <laughs> Still doing oh, here. Scared me. Well, you've known all along. The family truly showed leniency to everyone who came seeking help. Why would there be a need for such high walls and deep moats? However, people don't see it like that. Especially since the flavor of the drink served is so alluring. You will receive no charity on Panacone. And relying on your own strength alone to topple high walls. Huh. Which is why, once you step into the hotel, you remove your high hat and beg everyone you come across for help. Like a hyena scavenging for scraps in the desert. <laughs> because you know that opportunities are fleeting. Well, when you put it like that, even Ratio's a teeny peacock analogy sounds pleasant. I'm not fond of him. He pissed me off. Conspiracies, 
evacuation. Especially the part about the finale, a magnificent act of betrayal. <laughs> oh, and everyone thinks this way. Who would even suspect that it was another trap you meticulously devised? <laughs> Go on. Tell me I'm right. You know who you really are, Mr. Tally. Wait, Campbell. what? Uptight, overcautious, massive inferiority complex. You've won so much, you're still so afraid of losing. They only see your big bets, your bravado, the full house, the straight flush. They don't know the other hand is below the table, clutching your chips for dear life. It's a heck of an act. No wonder the tavern sent you an invite. You're a natural kid. You don't stop at fooling the audience. The best way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is first being able to fool yourself. That's crazy. <laughs> of course. I know you all too well. But it's strange. Why did you decline that invitation? You had the chance to embrace elation. Was that not what you most wanted? But you chose the IPC instead. For the preservation? <laughs> I doubt it. Do you even have anything in common with the preservation? Oh, I thought you knew. Didn't you say you had me pegged? We're done. Either stop talking or disappear from my sight. <laughs> That's fine. But who exactly is about to disappear here? I didn't say a word. It's not going to be me anyway. Playing hide and seek. I'm really good at this. He's so fast. What? Shame. Wasn't that the last one Dad left behind? <laughs> it wasn't ruined. I've always kept it. Come on. It's a rag. Not like you can ever wear it. <laughs> now you don't have to hide. You probably won't even deign to get your pretty outfit wet in the rain. And your social capital has changed after all. I've never changed. On the contrary, now you're the one who does the hunting. The last round of hide and seek, and you get to be in. You should enjoy it. That child. Could he be in here? Is this. Oh, that's Topaz's, no? A Topaz? What is this doing here? <laughs> what? Does your cornerstone wrench out of your heart so? I was merely curious why it was here. Maybe that winged guy put it here. To taunt you. Just to make you realize that your painstakingly arranged magic show is nothing but a death rattle. The cornerstone's hue is the same Radiance of Quipon's body. <laughs> I've got to give it to you. I've heard a lot of baloney, but that lie deserves a prize for sheer nerve. If he were just a little bit smarter, the jig would have been up right there. This is just bait. Of course. That's why Ratio's betrayal was one of the keys to your plan. Oh. I have to say that Dr. Sappy was superb. Oh. 
Or maybe he wasn't acting at all. All the better for you. Sunday oh, he wasn't acting, man. He's still just a dick. He's obsessed with control. I was so annoyed with him. I still am. Until you gave to Ratio was all true. We spoke the same to Sunday. Finally, Sunday took the bait, found the other cornerstone, and before you know it, everyone's distracted enough for you to steal the third stone right out from under them. What? <sighs> Why don't you stop rummaging through my mind? Your mind. way to prevent others from seeing your true colors is to first be able to fool yourself. <laughs> really? You can't even fool yourself. You just got lucky this time. This is the other cornerstone in Sunday's hands. Rather beautiful green. Just like you. Smooth. Why, thank you. Cunning. How sweet. <laughs> Why are you even asking me? Uh, must I do all the work? Aventurine is the stone of luck and trickery. That's what you said when you received the stone, wasn't it? This type of stone isn't rare, but its hue is very similar to a certain gem. In fact, it's often used as a substitute. And that more precious gem Jade. Even Sunday can't tell the difference. Well, looks like Jade can be substituted for a Venturine, too. <laughs> Sauce for the goose. Hi, Midnight. How are you? A Venturine, Topaz, Jade. Three elites, three cornerstones, too. <gasps> for a measly <coughs> Thank you for the lurk. Offered Sorry, yes, please everything. avoid spoilers. Oh. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm dying. He's crazy smart. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Get dip out here. Hold As I've on. said before, three chips are sufficient. <coughs> All or none. But will it be the former or the latter? <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. So, where's the real adventuring stone? Pick it out. Let's have a look. Is it pink? Just kidding. <laughs> Suddenly, you don't know where it is? I said, get out of here. I just want to hear you say. After all, it really does resemble its owner. As you wish, then. They never went anywhere. They're right where they belong. Piled up with these cheap baubles. You smashed the Aventurine stone before you left? Oh, just look at it. That's rude. Poor thing. A humble pebble coated in the most lustrous sheen. I take it back. This thing is far more precious than your life. You're absolutely clear about the consequences of doing this. Blasphemy against Clipoff's body. You think the IPC will let you get off scot free? Well, Diamond has always been all about results. As long as I could create value far beyond the cost, the ends justify the means. Wow. How else would the family be fooled if there was no price to pay? It doesn't matter. Even smashed to smithereens, the preservation's cornerstone can still be used. Its oh. effect may be greatly diminished, but it's enough for me. That's such a shame. Destroy this thing. No, I know he's here. smart, but like, it's so sad. Why does every step you take involve reckless risks, and the choices you prepare for yourself always come with a strong impulse for self-destruction? Do you truly believe that the greater the risk, the greater the reward? I wouldn't have guessed you'd be so loyal to the IBC. I feel like he doesn't value his life. Or maybe he does? I don't know. <sighs> there is so much you don't see. 
Which is also why you'll never see how I'll win it all. He's just very that confident is, in his abilities. If you can do what it takes. We'll just have to wait and see then. Oh, the cornerstone is gone. Another illusion of the harmony. Hello. We meet again, Mr. Pretty Eyes. Yes. Oh, hello. We meet again. Did you find your mother and father? Of course. Big Sis is there too. The four of us were just playing hide and seek. Mm. I'm so happy. On our way here, Papa even brought me to see a flim. A flim? <laughs> I think you mean film. That's so cute. Yes, that's it. Putting many drawings together and turning them into a moving wall painting. They put me, Papa, Mama, and Big Sis together, turning us into one big family. You should give it a try too, mister. You look sad. The amusement park will cheer you up. I'm <laughs> sure. Oh. That's so Amori core. I'm not I'm not even kidding. This is so Amori core. Even I've been saying Mayu, even the music, like in this I mean this in the best way because I I love the music in Amori, but I'm saying like it's so familiar. Like it has the same vibe. Impressive. Want a prize? I ate that up. Crow, thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> How's that? Not a bad score, eh? <sighs> oh, the kid's gone. Boring. He said boring. That's crazy. Why aren't you talking? You piqued my interest. I'll admit that there are still aspects of you that I don't completely understand. He's an enigma even to himself. That's crazy. Well, you sound sincere this time, at least. Well, sincerity is one of my traits that everybody likes. And I have precious few of those. <laughs> Moving on. See that maze over there? <laughs> I'll know everything about you before you reach the exit. Our quaint Kay. journey through this amusement park still isn't over. And I wouldn't mind stretching this out at all. Whoa, this place, it's so tall, even taller than the tallest rocks in the desert. There are so many flowers here. Fix this, this one's for you. A dead end? Oh, is this the wrong way? Well, that's... It, it is this... Well, that's not... Oh, what's on your mind? It's got nothing to do with you. Do you need a hand? These are manacles on you. That man gave you your first job. You made your first pot of gold. I remember it all too well. You wrapped that iron chain around your fist, for that is the only tool you could find. Then, in that maze, you... Oh, shut that's... Up. I, I wouldn't want to have to. You don't wish to face your past. Unwilling to admit that your life is worth at least 60 tassas. Well, from what I see, you refuse to confront it, because it only proves your weakness. How could a weak person take such daring risks? You love the thrill of danger, but you refuse to let go of meaningless sentiments. Even in this beautiful dream, the only thing you dare allow yourself is death. In your hands, those who follow you could have become joker cards. <laughs> They're far more useful that way. It's not like this is the only place the family ever cut corners. You <laughs> could have had tons of action if you weren't so all or nothing. All it takes is a meager sacrifice. I bet Opal would have resolved this without a fuss. A pity you're not him. Well, Who's you Opal? This date if you could just get with the program. And why couldn't you? Out of 
professional integrity. See another IPC member? <laughs> Those techniques you mentioned are highly efficient, but it's not that I don't know about them. It's more like I couldn't care less. Oh, we don't Get know. It. Okay. Ow. What fun is it if the fight isn't fair? Well, she gave me an answer that could. Oh, oops. Everything. Sorry. You mean it could make all the cards on the table just disappear? <laughs> That's cheating. If these leaves could be brought back, would they bloom into new flowers? His mom gave it to him. Looking back, that was the better choice. Mama only left us with two pieces of jewelry. A necklace and a lucky charm. There won't ever be a third piece. That's what you always say, but you actually regret it, don't you? That you didn't somehow. You can zip it if there's nothing to talk about. Remember what Big Sis told you. You're a child blessed by Gyathra Triclops. Well, his sister did always say to prioritize himself so over the jewelry. Remember to protect yourself so. and never resent the pain and poverty you're going through. The words still ring in your ears, don't they? You're a good kid, so you definitely won't have forgotten. So, you surely won't forget how tragic her last oh. moments of life were. How the piercing laughter behind you felt like it was drilling into your heart. You ran away without looking back, just as she told you to. Tisk, tisk. A lifelong regret, indeed. Enough! Do you not have anything better to talk about? Damn, his inner conscious oh, is very mean to himself. Shut me down like a conscience. Champ. Well, I guess when it comes to mind games, this isn't exactly your first rodeo. He's very cruel to himself. I'm sad for him. I think I finally get you. <laughs> Woo! You are nuts! In the end, I'll ruin this beautiful dream and create the grandest death. <laughs> well, you stuck to that from start to finish. Think about it. There's a Stellaron in play. The fabulous Robin loses two unsolved murders, cryptic messages from a masked fool, and a chance to go head-to-head -head with Sunday himself. The only thing to pique your interest is one word. The last word. A word that's right there at your fingertips. Death. But who's exactly? <sighs> we'll know when the dice falls. <laughs> All right then, reserve a seat for me in the audience. I'm curious to see just how capable you are. You could start over, but you still want to be the child who received Gaiathra's blessing. Anyways, uh, I would say no, personally. It doesn't seem like it did him any good having that blessing. <sighs> it's so quiet this time. Is he finally gone? Or am I the one about to disappear? He is just so... Like, bro is going through it. Finally. Made it out of this place. We're going home? But I don't want to go back yet. <laughs> ah. Sorry, kid. I don't know why, mister. But you always give me a special feeling. It makes me more curious about you. He was more of a brunette in his youth. We have to say goodbye. Did you have fun? 
Mm. You're going back? Yes. I should go home. The day's getting dark, and it's going to rain. I don't want to worry the others. You're home. Where is it? I think you know. What a strange question. It's where Papa, Mama, and Big Sis are. In this dream. <sighs> this amusement park. This beautiful dream. We really are peaceful. Everyone loves it. But, mister, why don't you like it? <laughs> because they're not here. Where are they then? Shut up! I'm ruining the moment. See, I'm glad they gave me a more annoying adventuring because now I have someone else to shift my regular adventuring hate to in this moment where he's vulnerable and very sad and invoking empathy in me. Now I could just shift it off to this annoying ghost adventuring who's still just as smug and as annoying. Or and annoying, I should say. I actually appreciate that. But there's no point pressing the issue. Because now I'm like, oh, poor adventuring. And then this guy walks in. I'm like, oh, here we go again. You know, so it's it's good for me. Remember, Darcy, he has no future. Which is why we chose to stay here. Ow! And him. You leave the little kid out of it. Your past. And future. How long will you stay? Forever. We'll be with you forever in this dream. I'd be really concerned if my future appeared to me was not much older than I am right now. I'd be like, oh, I'm really going to die soon, huh? To those who towards death. <sighs> the road less traveled is less traveled for a reason. But you've never gone in any other direction. Your own life is the chip you're most eager to lay down. Always has been. You don't care who the real murderer is. And the watchmaker's so-called legacy couldn't be more boring. What you want, what you need, is to be the smooth operator, the solid gold deal maker who doesn't waste a drop of sweat, even when he's up to his neck in danger, deep inside family territory. You want to be polished up, cuffed with red-hot chains, Spotlit center stage. <laughs> You'll be the closing act, the final sacrifice. I can do it, and it will be flawless. Ugh, of course you can. Your luck will help you at the right time. Stellaron and an emanator. It's that simple. will earn a place at the table. And as for you, you'll just happen to slip the leash, sweep the rat race, extract yourself from this endless debacle. You'll have the freedom you've always dreamed of. <laughs> this isn't the first time. You've been an escape artist from day one. This fiasco started with a death and its curtains will fall on another death. He's just after Panacone. No matter the means, no matter the price. It's not personal. <laughs> it's hard, isn't it? Well, don't get soft on me now. <laughs> what, did you suddenly grow a conscience? Why, well, hey, I was born from yourself. I'm well aware that climbing out of the hole you've dug is basically impossible. I can't stop you from doing what you want. I can't change where you want to go. Good night, Stink. Are we almost done? Well, what's done can't be undone. All we can do is play the cards we're dealt and rake in as much time as possible. Yes. 
it feels like we're coming to a head. I'm like ner I'm getting more nervous. I'm feeling sad and that's not a good thing. Like I feel like something bad's gonna happen now. You will keep winning. I mean never lost before, but why you? Why must it be you? Okay, not to be spoilers, but he's very much giving Aaron Yeager in this moment just a little bit with Well I let me not actually, because I know it ended and everything, but let me just not go into it too much. I don't want to spoil it. But the whole the freedom. Why you? Always these you. Calls, these jackpots aren't a gift from Gyandra. If all they are is a long string of meaningless deaths. Then what did we do to deserve living in a Maybe, maybe when I get to where I'm going and look back, I'll know what the trip was all about. Bro, a picture is like a seal of death in this world. We gotta not. Sure. Come on. Oh, we're gonna take it here. I'm gonna throw up. I think I'm a little too short for this one. The way he looks at him is, like, devastating. Oh! That's so sad! <laughs> How nice! Now I can see that I look like two. Look at the lens when you're taking a photo the next time. Your expression will look more natural. Sure, I will. Then, mister, are you going back too? I can't leave yet. I still have a show to do. Oh, you're about to go on stage, aren't you? Let's go. Bro, I don't want to cry tonight. I'll take you to the stage. It's only polite. Sure. Mm. Although, according so to the trash can. Actor. No wonder your clothes are so stylish. <laughs> I'm actually a merchant, but I do have a show to do. Are you the same as those men in black in the sky? But you're not wearing black. <laughs> Only ordinary employees have to wear that. My position is much higher than theirs. <laughs> but who was that on the other side of you? I hope I can become as good looking as you when I grow up. <laughs> of course you can. You'll be better and stronger than me. Do I have to? Am I finally out of time? Behind this curtain is the so grand quick stage. sixteen hours. It's almost time to go on stage. Are you ready? Good luck with your show. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> you still seem pretty nervous. Let's put our palms together. If you receive Gayathra's blessing, you'll feel more relaxed. 
Putting our palms together is a simple ritual. By putting our palms together and reciting the prayer to Mama Funga, she will bless us. If you're not familiar, I can guide you. It's all right. I know how to do it. Poor boy. I'm sad. I'm almost more sad for his little self. I know it sounds silly. This is where we go our own way, Kakavasha. The catechins are coming. Oh, oh God. Why? The catechins have already taken all our money, food, and they killed our parents. What more do they want? Catechins are bloodthirsty, cruel, and insatiably greedy. They want everything only to end up with nothing. of revenge, remember? Today is the day of the Kakava, and also your birthday. They know the Avgen will surely hold a festival today. With the aid of this rain, they will come to destroy our wagons and take everything they want. Little do the Hadigans know, this time we will fight them. Men in black that descend from the skies are on our side. The catechins stand no chance against them and will surely pay for their arrogance. Why doesn't she leave too then? Without this rain, the catechins would never take action and we would not have the chance to turn the tide. This is a gift from Gayathra, and you are Kakavasha, whose good fortune will bless your sister with success. I don't know about that one. But, but people will die, and you will be in danger. How is that good fortune? Why are you all doing this? The Avgen always return their blood debts. Gayathra calls for me, while Papa and Mama are waiting for me. I must answer the call. But she will bless you with good fortune and help you survive. As long as you are alive, the blood of the Avgen will never run dry. So run, Kakavasha. Do not be afraid. And do not look back. Go to the other side of the mountain. The rain will accompany you. And the rain will bless you. As for us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. May the goddess Gayathra close her eyes three times. Keep your blood eternally pulsing. Let your journey be forever peaceful. And your schemes forever concealed. Farewell, Kakavasha. Newsflash from the Inter-Astral Peace broadcast. The IPC Marketing Development Department spokesperson confirms that a small-scale rebellion has broken out in the unclaimed region of Sigonia. The situation is now under control. The insurgents are from a local clan known as Kataka, which has a long history of disdain towards the IPC. This has caused a serious Wait. negative impact to the work of the IPC's Marketing Development Department. The clan launched a massive attack on the Avgen, who were under the protection of the IPC, resulting in 6,728 deaths and 3,452 missing. The casualties are currently under the care of the frontline trauma team. The spokesperson expresses his deepest condolences for this devastating humanitarian disaster. At the same time, delivering an important message on this matter to all interplanetary citizens. Finally, he proclaims, the hammer of preservation will fall on all beings, regardless of life or death, regardless of race, regardless of ideology to uphold the basic rights we inherently possess. 
Kakavasha? Uh, see, I was gonna say something, but when he was fighting with his old self, now I feel... I mean, listen, he's still a smug bastard. However, comma, I feel bad because it's so obvious now that the, like, the smugness and the attitude and the confidence was an act. And like he said, you have to fool yourself if you're gonna fool others. So, like, I get it, but that just makes me sad. Like, I'm sad for him now. Because he did. He fooled me. Pissed me off, actually. Converted is crazy. He's still annoying. However, comma, I get why he's annoying, and I feel bad that he feels the need to act that way. Exactly. I still don't love him, but I do. I'm sad for him. Empathy. There you go. Empathy. Also, bye. Oh, thank you for the follow. Oh, he said. Bye is crazy. Okay. All the actors are in place. Are all my actors in place? Is my team okay? It's time for the show to. Am begin. I fighting someone? I feel like I'm about to fight someone. This act is dedicated to you. I hope it'll be an unforgettable memory for you. Kakavisha. I thought he was looking at me. I was like, whoa. By the way, before you go, I have a personal question. You... Do you truly want to destroy the world with your own hands? <sighs> Let's assume, just assuming now, that every time I roll the dice, there's a possibility of achieving this particular outcome. Then I would be quite happy to make that wager. Is this Miss Acheron? Hello, I'm Himigo, the Astral Express's navigator. Hello, Here, bird. I'm March 7th. I'm sure she needs no introduction, as you definitely know her. Hey, Queen. Uh... Hello? None of you seem surprised by my arrival. Since Weld has decided to travel with you, it means that he trusts you. And we trust his judgment. <laughs> I envy your close friendships. I mean, hey, baby girl, it's okay. You can Ms. be one of our close friends. Oh, I did the close friend story. She's of no threat to the Astral Express. Hell yeah. Aventurine's prior accusation was based on nothing more than his own subjectivity. I mean, which is why you could argue that she's still a threat. Together, he has a duty to explain himself. You want to create a situation where <laughs> all three parties are present? She's actually mad funny for that. There must be some deeper meaning behind Aventurine's actions. I suspect he's been aware of Penacone's secret from the beginning and has been continuously strategizing to unveil oh. it. In that sense, the Astral Express's role in his plans would be imperative. In the worst case scenario, he may use us to do something unexpected. Assuming things do escalate to that stage, having an extra ally is a good insurance policy. Penacone has numerous factions, and the state of affairs is significantly more intricate than that of Bellabog and the Xianzhou. Hell yeah. I'm in the bottom of my bat, so on is my body and trailblazes is my bud. Bud, blood? You're talking weird again. But it's a good vibe. No matter what, we can't I know, ignore right? the safety of Penacone. To solve the can't mystery we? of the Watchmaker, it is crucial to get the IPC's intel. The path ahead is fraught with danger. But what's trailblazing without a little danger? All right. Sounds like we've reached a consensus. Now, uh, Miss Acheron? I will accompany you, of course. Yeah! Let's move out then! But where do we start looking for him? I feel like we're just boom, and then like he's no gonna be right behind us. <laughs> if he truly has laid a trap, 
He will definitely use every means to lure us in. Ladies and gentlemen. That was easy. The most wondrous, most magnificent show in Pentaconi's history is about to begin. The IPC cordially invites everyone to Clock Studios theme park. <laughs> Look. Should both the performers and spectators fail to arrive, won't all of Aventurine's plans be for nothing? Let's get going, everyone. The hour of trailblazing is upon us. Alright, let's go, gang. Uh, I have a bad feeling that something big's gonna go down. Uh, are you ready? I gotta listen to Darcy, bro. Uh, are we ready? I'm scared. Well, let's waste no time and head to the theme park then. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, I, I saw the bird. It was right up there. I knew it. I knew it. Hmm? I knew it. Why did you not tell your companions about my true identity? It's not their business. He ain't no snitch. Just like you said, uh, an inability rather than an unwillingness. Plus, it's a long story, not something that can be summed up in a few words. But I chose to believe you, and my trust in you stems more from my own personal judgment. I also believe that if it were their choice to make, they would make the same one. Thank you. I'm grateful. Mm, I'm sad for her. To reciprocate, in the upcoming confrontation, if the odds aren't in the Astral Express's favor, hey, 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 I hey. will stand with you. If my meager strength is required. Meager? Is she dumb? Damn it. All right, here we go. We're back here again. Aventurine actually chose a really conspicuous location. Uh, that guy's really taking it to a whole new level. Does he really think he's a superstar or something? Not a soul in sight. The hounds drove out the visitors, and now their whereabouts are unknown too. Uh -oh. Everyone, pay attention. The other party has obviously come prepared. Adventuring? Am I fighting him? Why? Astral Express. Oh, that's in my ear. You're late. And this unsung guest. We have kept your appointment, Mr. Aventurine. It is customary to show yourself as well. <laughs> oh, I will, naturally. But before that, I've got to introduce our guest of all. But why do we have to fight him? What did Everyone we give it up for Miss Delara? Hey. <laughs> Let me remind you that in all likelihood, this stage and her identity have nothing to do with the wanted murderer. Oh no, they do. <laughs> Otherwise, why would I work so hard to gain your trust and then invite you all here? Because she's the only one who saw all three homicides. She is the key to proving that the family's death that does not exist in dreams promise is nothing but a sham. Three homicides? That's right, madam. The Girl. third one is about to happen right now, right here. In Clock Studios theme park. A truly grand. Yeah, that's a great all. You, 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 and you. All of you are going to die. You, you, you. And you. That's only four. You, Miss Stella. Me? You will become the personification 
of death. No, don't want to. <laughs> well, don't underestimate the preservation. The cornerstone of the Amber Lord will surely guide me. Let me be a little clearer. I will detonate the Stellaron in you and cause a teeny tiny accident on Panicone. Bam! The entire theme park will be reduced to a shattered dream. Then before the family can even react, I'll become the IPC Leaf Navigator. Your bluff isn't fooling anyone. If you could really do that, you would have done so early. He doesn't have to activate her thing, but he does have you that button that. of uh Sure. Uh Sparkles self-destruct button. I'm betting that it'll be a sweeping victory for me. By detonating an unprecedented explosion to prove that the vow of harmony is a complete and utter joke. You won't do it. Of course I can. It's just another gift. I came from the wastelands of Sigonia for just 60 red copper coins. People paid to brand me. Put me in chains. Place me in the gallows and bury me in the golden sands. But the sun could not kill me. And the quicksand sent me back to the embrace of the guild and the IPC. Bear in mind, my victory wasn't just a stroke of luck. I was gonna say, did I ask? I never been defeated. Have you ever heard the saying, sleep is the rehearsal of death? Why do the living sleep? Oh, because we are not ready for the final rest. Every night is practice for the end. You and I are escaping into our dreams for fear of death at this very moment. And death will surface in our dreams. Friends, the game has commenced, and you cannot choose to decline. Nor do you have any reason or ground to! Oh, wow. The dice are cast. Ladies and gentlemen, is that Black Swan, by the way? Cars. Every single time we see one of them little crows, is that we her way of saying she's watching us? <laughs> oh, no value at all. I'm putting down the bet. I'm taking the gamble. I'm claiming the win. Oh, it's Sunday's bird? Oh, and fate's been the wheel. A daring gamble. Walking the brink of death for rebirth. Oh. For the Amber Lord! I have to get over a five? Come on, girl. Alright, so this is looking a little bit familiar. Okay. I'm gonna leave. I'm using it, I'm sorry, I'm using it. <laughs> that counts as Kafka's hit? They're dead. Good times, time to say bye. Boom. Okay. We'll try again. Can I? I hear me out. I think I can do it though with this team. For oblivion. <laughs> okay. All right. Free will. Justice for oblivion. Everybody's like that, down to the last player. So why can't I? Okay. We're okay. Why can't I feel that Jesus, that was alarming. Yeah, but I feel bad. We're gonna have to kill him now. Always hide your ace with a straight face. No, please. I'm starting to get a little impatient with you all. <laughs> Friends, to fully relish this, I'm betting every last 
Gotcha propaganda, by the way. I'm sorry. <laughs> Emanator, I know you'll match my wager, right? Oh my god, mother's gonna save us all? You're <laughs> leaving? Huh? <sighs> Perhaps. I might pass through the place you mentioned. Pentacron, what do you hope to find within a dream? I'm not looking for anything. They aren't in a dream. Mm. I'm afraid the family will not open the doors for you. Why? Because the path you walk is not accepted by the Harmony. Even if... that's not what I want. Precisely because it's not what you want. Because they are not like other eons. They have never glanced at anyone. And they never need to. They leave woven strands of fate for humans to walk. And together, they weave a great shadow. There are always those Oops. who rise from the shadows. Mm. That was tricky. It was tricky. Mm. They mostly become a part of the shadow. In your eyes. Am I the same? You still have a strand of color, but not much. <sighs> that is enough. Before they vanish completely, I will reach the Nihility's end. <laughs> Mother, she's gonna come save us all. <gasps> I wish to mourn the departed, weeping like rain, to swell the crossing stream. Oh. As the tide arrives, leading you back home. Oh. What, what is this place? Uh, a gigantic black hole. And see. Have I have I succeeded? Try your best to die without regrets. Do your best. Just a simple task. I can ask you this little simple favor if you don't mind. I'm gonna cry. I'm. So that's what I'm saying. Like I'm so excited about adventure Welcome being. To this sad world, Kakavasha. I was so excited about the adventure, or I mean, I'm sorry, Acheron, like, being powerful and being awesome, and then it's just like, all right, this guy who just never had a effing chance in the world, you have to kill him? Why did you have to kill him? I don't know, even. <gasps> oh. Your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Abjin have. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. I think I should be walking. I know it'll probably take status. Power. The IPC will give you whatever you want, even what you don't want. Like, 
to just run to death, I like can't do it. Like I like I know it's taking so long, but like I can't just like W key death. Like that's really nuts. So we're just gonna take a stroll. We're gonna admi admire the scenery. I'm sad for him. I I don't. He's so Aaron Yeager coded. For us, we will reunite in Kakava's next aurora. These are like his key life moments, and I'm just like running by. Unite with your family. Oh. That is so awful. This is so terrible. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna it's pretend a pity like this. This is not the place you were expecting. Melody, is it? Perhaps to you, I am just an emanator who's hiding her identity. But the sleeping and shapeless never glance at anyone. They have no face, no form, and even less of a will to speak. The nihility envelops everyone equally. Only some who have gone under their shadow can go farther, tainting themselves with more nihility. That's all. <laughs> That's all. My friend, you really leave me at a loss for words. So... Is this my final destination? The land of the dead? This is all but a fleeting dream. One of the thousands of manifestations of Ix. Under the watchful eye of Nihility, we momentarily linger here before moving on to our own paths. It seems that my death has already been determined. Even if you wish for it, I can't promise you anything. Now that you've accomplished your goal, I think you can be a little more forthcoming. What's his goal, though? <laughs> what do you mean? Death? Like... Your performance at the theme park was wonderful and grandiose. A simple yet practical technique that fooled almost everyone. No one would have ever thought that you would have gone to such lengths. Even staking your life just to prove a fact that had seemingly been disproved long ago. Real death does not exist in Penacone's dreamscape. <laughs> Why would I do this? Because this is the only way you can uncover a secret that is even more unspeakable than the serial murders. To use this dream death to get there. To that promised land people constantly seek in this grand gathering. Penacone. The legacy of the Watchmaker. The true land of exile. <sighs> How did you find out? I never imagined that something I learned about unexpectedly would become the key to connecting everything. It's our Stellaron friend's identity, isn't it? I see you're in the know. Let's just say I'd put money on the possibility. The murder isn't nearly enough to disrupt business as usual. Even if there were one or two murders on Penacone, most people wouldn't be personally affected. And that won't create any waves. Back into all the depressing that stuff. Woo, they let's keeps go, guys. Death out. But it also keeps the secrets that are lost in that watery abyss from floating to the surface. In a beautiful dream, free of suffering. Who would want to go fishing for those secrets? No one. Unless. Also, uh, for those of you who just did this boss fight, how many tries did it take you? One? Well, y'all are just better than me. Okay, never mind. We're gonna resume. Don't talk. Don't talk anymore. Unless someone goes to the other side of the barrier. It's embarrassing. I'm embarrassed now. And lives to tell the tale. Five to ten. Shout out TikTok. You someone guys always make me feel good. Love y'all. I was three. I got the idea early on, chewing on that masked fool's little hint. If a mute isn't someone who cannot make a sound, 
then it has to be someone who cannot speak. Someone who survived the treacherous deaths, but is unable to take the stage and speak the truth. <laughs> well, I'm happy to know she's safe and sound, and still on Panicone. Hint. Is that not proof? Well, proof is the one thing I don't have. The only thing that can prove these conjectures yeah, I'd use Kafka with Akron. is for the family to come clean. And with the way they buttered up these outsiders, it seems it's all use. pretty clear their intent on covering their tracks. But you don't need proof to have a suspicion. And for me, suspicion is enough. I didn't need to find the memory zone meme. I just needed for someone to kill me like it killed that silver-haired girl. You don't sound very confident to me. Going out of your way to make citywide broadcasts in an attempt to involve more people. <laughs> you are simply betting on the possibility of someone being able to break down the barrier. You're very lucky that fate has decided to let us cross paths. I happen to be equipped with a very sharp blade. Sharp enough to slice through the veil of dreams. I can also carve the Harmony's brand off of you. Oof. You possess great cunning. Deliberately setting us up to be on opposing sides. Constantly repeating the words of the Emanator in front of others. Leaving me no choice but to draw my blade against you. And that's how you win. Opportunity and strategy. Both are essential. And in your plans, the IPC always wins. Even if you lose the bet. To the family, the life of an ambassador is still invaluable. Well, it's a huge gamble, isn't it? But allow me to point out a mistake. The IPC's success is not guaranteed. Hmm. I, unfortunately, have no contingencies for such an impossible important matter. Detonating a Stellaron. I can't do it. The Aventurine Stone is too broken to even safeguard my escape from the stage. If, at the end of the day, you did not unsheath your blade, I would have lost the bet. It is pointless to discuss what-ifs. You have won. Your prize is an entry ticket into that deep sea. And after this, whether you can return from the Abyss is another gamble of yours. Have you never wavered? Wavered? <laughs> of course I have. But I can only bank on my own good fortune. Because other than that... I have nothing. So he's... Wait. Is he betting... Wait. Wake up from this dream and go to where you should be. Your gamble... Is not over yet. <laughs> Before we part, can you answer one I'm more so question? As someone who has traveled on that road, can you tell me why are we born into this world? If it's just to die. I don't think this and never have. Nor do you. But the nihility envelops you and I. And everyone. And because of that, it's pointless. But it is still there. If the dice of fate are always waited, then that is our destiny. Why, then, do we struggle against it? My answer might not be able to resolve your confusion, because it has been with you throughout your journey and is already a part of your life. But you said sleep is the rehearsal of death. So why does life sleep? because we are not ready to welcome death. So you can definitely understand why we want to be prepared. Even if the ending has been predetermined, that's fine. There are countless things that humans cannot change. But before the end, 
There are many things that humans can do while on their journey. And because of this, the end will thus reveal a completely different meaning. Take a good look at your pocket. Your friend has already given you the answer. Good luck. My friend. I shall get going. Oh fuck. Mister, get away from me. You're leaving? You ultimately chose to leave this dreamscape. Yes. Because they are not here. My papa. Mama and Big Sis. Then where are they? They are in a place where everyone will go. A very, very distant place. Then are you going to? I'll get there one day. So he's not dying. But not now. Lord. There will come a day when the sky will drizzle. I'm stressed out. I'm sweating. I'm actually sweating, by the way, guys. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> know that it is time for me to go and be reunited with oh, my family. Oh my god. So, until that time comes, I should be preparing. Preparing for what? Well, I'm preparing to face them, Kakamisha, and to make them proud. Hmm. It's terrible. I know you'll be able to do it. Good luck. <laughs> well, of course. For I am a child who received the blessing of Gyathra Triclops. <laughs> but you still seem nervous. <laughs> Well, I seem that way because I am nervous. You know what? Maybe you can help. What do you say? One last time? Put our palms together? Oh my god, I'm gonna die. Are you going now? Yes. May the Mother Goddess thrice close her eyes for you, keeping, keeping your blood, blood eternally pulsing. pulsing. May, May your journey, journey be forever, forever peaceful, and your schemes forever concealed. Our paths will cross again beneath Kakava's shimmering auroras. Farewell, Kakava Chef. I don't like this game at all, actually. <laughs> I'm so stressed out. Once falling dies, so now they want to use it as a singular. Don't even get me started. The light of the Aventurine Stone has disappeared. This only represents one outcome. He kept his promise and got what he wanted. <laughs> As planned. Your 
cornerstone has been successfully sent to the family's territory. Then... Let's fulfill our duty and start harvesting. What? 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 What are we doing now? What are we doing now? What's happening now? I'm stressed. He's free, but I'm stressed out. What are they going to do now? I come for an audience. I come to fill wine. And I come to claim. I bestow poison in the guise of sweet dew. Come the toil of spring and yield a fall. I patiently wait for the branches to be heavy with withered fruits. All for the Amber Lord. So are they going to take over Penacony right now? Like, we just wrapped up. Like, I'm nervous. <sighs> Who's part of it? Fire. You're awake. Been... Sam? I've been waiting on you for quite a I while. I was gonna say, Himiko. <laughs> what are you doing? A crevice between dreams. You've met me before. I remember. I'm Sam, a Stellaron hunter. I originally planned on showing up earlier to reveal some truths to you but me too, reader. i encountered me more also, roadblocks than expected think the Apollo, i appreciate that 11 times i've tried 11 but ended in failure before i knew it this world and i became too intertwined brace for what what impact do we need to brace for the script elio is right in this land of the dreams, you and I will reap unforgettable gains. Me and him. Two I of don't us. know people's hearts as well as he and Kafka do. Nor do I have a specialty like Silver Wolf and Blade. Most of the things that I'm good at only apply to villains who need no mercy. So there is only one method that I use. Which is? This is to show you. What? <gasps> no fucking way. All that I am. Must be a bit paranoid. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, that little girl got a deep ass voice. <laughs> Why is she Sam? How is she Sam? How are you verse when I catch you? I don't, how was I supposed to know that she's been Sam? What do you mean? What? A lot of foreshadowing, not in front of these eyes, not in front of this face and processing through this brain. No, not for me. Foreshadowing for other people, maybe, but not for me. Absolutely not. <laughs> you are so funny, Mr. Security Officer. I hope that sense of humor of yours has helped you find the serial killer. So is Robin the only one who died? <laughs> that kind of sucks, Loki. <laughs> Like, that's embarrassing. Like, everyone died, but, like, it, like, it's, like, imagine, like, oh, like, you know, if your friends dropped off a bridge, would, jumped off a bridge, would you? And then it's, like, they all jumped off the bridge, but you're the only one who died? Just expressing a personal opinion. Why? Embarrassing. Did I hit a nerve? Mr. Gallagher, my patience is wearing thin. Neglecting duties... Hey, girl, I love him. Will only make me more suspicious that you and the real serial killer are connected. What? I mean, it's not my fault. I didn't do it. 
scoundrel, punk, drunk, hooligan. I have heard this trash talk all too often. But I have never once thought that hey, John, I'd be treated as an accomplice to a murderer. What did he even do that was so bad? Like, he's not even that bad of a guy. He's just a little bit dirty looking. I, I take back what I said. Your problem isn't paranoia. You're just crazy, you know? Lunatic. <laughs> Embarrassing. What is oh my auto's not on. I was like, why are they just staring at each other? Like, can you, we wrap it up? The family my bad. you broke my spine and pulled out my fangs, and now you want to accuse me of murder? Ridiculous. Only Thank idiots you, who drunk too much soul glad will berate a stray dog in the streets. What exactly is making you say all this nonsense? You should be more concerned about the outworld visitors who are making a scene in the theme park than me. I don't need you to remind me. Once that ambassador walks through the doors of the mansion, I will know what he wants. My servants see everything. His little magic tricks may have fooled me, but no matter. I'm happy to see how it's turned out. <laughs> That's mean. Why do you think that I just let him go? And why do you think I emptied the theme park stage? I don't know. Because... My target from the beginning huh? has always been you, Hound. The more noise he makes, the more opportunities I have to make you and your true master pay in blood. True master? If I were really the murderer, why would you need to be so secretive? Ha! Huh, I forgot. You also have a difficult master happening? to serve. Telling you to ignore I... the murder case and focus yes. solely on that Charmony festival. Isn't that right, my brother? Brother? <sighs> Looks like your disguise has helped you successfully understand every facet of the family. What? Disguise? You must be blind to be accusing me of being a fake. Open your eyes. Take a good look. <sighs> my eyes are open. What am I looking at? Indeed. Every part of you is real. The brown hair... Soft and curly like Benny's. The orange eyes, which make me miss the gaze of Sir Whitaker. The gaze of oh, that scar, gaze. The mark of Wolsey. And the gray vest, tie, hound emblem, bottle, the bartending, and your role as a security officer. These are all true traits from all 52 loyal family members. What? What? Wait, what? When they are gathered, countless tiny truths are woven together into a lie. You collected a small piece of each of them and claimed them for yourself. Then you invented this facade. A complete Gallagher. Tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> He's not real. I'm gonna throw up. What's happening? You have guts. I'll give you that. Not bad. I severely underestimated you. Nobody's underestimating me. They're overestimating me. But so what? Can this prove that I murdered your sister and that stowaway? This proves that you and the memory zone mean death are linked. And that's enough. Is it enough? Listen up. I don't care how you did it. I only care about one thing. The answer to a question. You devil. You wretched, despicable dog. Why did you kill her? Oh, I forgot. He's sad. Are they going to fight? <sighs> you know, in the thick of things, people are blind to the grit in their eyes. Yet they can always feel it scratch. Want the answer? I'll give it to you. 
<laughs> the whole thing is just fate playing a cruel joke on us. <laughs> no! Freak out, man. I'm about to freak out Hoyoverse when I catch you. Interlude. Stay tuned to find out what happens next. If you watched, thank you for joining us on this journey of the Star Rail 2.1 Trailblazer Quest. Uh, I'm a little bit traumatized, but that's okay. That's fun, right? Or something. Uh, Gallagher, I knew he smelled. From day one, stinky man. Uh, I'm just gonna be delusional and believe that everyone's still alive and that Robin and Sunday are just hanging out, having a good time until we figure out what's going on so we can bring them back. That's what I think is happening. Uh, if you disagree, just don't let me know. Actually, as a matter of fact, why don't you disagree? Just protect, spare my feelings and say, hey, yeah, the toy that sounds awesome. Tori, that sounds great. What a good idea that you have. And that's definitely what's happening. Yeah.